Welcome everybody. This I am pleased. I completely screwed that up. <laughs> <laughs> I spent like an hour practicing it, but I messed it up. All right, here we go again. I am pleased to welcome you guys all to TPK Roleplay as the first session that I'm going to be DMing as your game mother, Meg Mysteria. This is an alien RPG game. Thanks brought to you by Free League Publishing. And it is absolutely based on the world from aliens. Um, yeah, yeah. Ambiance music. Okay. It's too ambiance. <laughs> Two ambiance. There we go. Running it down. Let me know if that's better. But, um, so like I said, I'm going to be your game mother. We'll be running this bastardized version of the Hope's Last Day cinematic uh, that was provided with the Alien RPG book Facebook. I changed it so that none of my players get spoilers when they read it. <laughs> um, so nice. Speaking Smart. of our players, I will let you guys go through and introduce yourselves. Uh, okay, uh, I'll go first since my squares first. Hi, I'm Skelly V. Uh, this is my first campaign. I wanted to like get into TK stuff, and I figured since I know Meg, I I've known Meg IRL for a long ass time. I'd be most comfortable with her being my GM. Uh, I do the streaming thing too, or it kinda. And then I also have Twitter under Skelly V. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Next. <laughs> See, uh, are we going to write it? So it's me. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. All right. Hello, I am Walt. I'll be playing Morgan Hurst. I ex-marine who is a little bit religious but is here to make Hadley's hope grow as much as he can I didn't introduce my character <laughs> oh no I panicked mm. uh, uh, I've seen aliens once maybe about 15 years ago so it'll be nice <laughs> oh uh, sure but let, let me just go back and say since I did this terribly uh, yeah, uh, my character is also Hannel Singleton, a pilot, you know, kind of a badass, uh, takes care of, essentially got raised being told, only look out for number one, me. <laughs> so, and uh, as for me, the player, I have seen Alien a lot. I've seen all the movies and... I very recently rewatched after hearing about this campaign because I was that psyched. <laughs> okay, now I'm done. Move over to Dev. Hey guys, it's Dev Develops here. I'll be playing Sunny Sigs and don't ask me the last time I've seen aliens. We don't want to talk about that. It's been a very long time. <laughs> and we'll, we'll move on over to the next person. <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm Last. I'm Niffer Niff everywhere. Um, I've never seen Aliens or any movie ever, apparently. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is my first TP game, TPK game as well. Uh, but our the Curse of Strahd game that I'm on is going to be moving over here, so I'll get to be on here a lot after this, so that's going to be really fun. Uh, I'm playing Officer Janice McWhir who's like the head in charge of this adventure, I think. I can pull rank and that's really all that matters. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. Oh no. Yes, I've been given authority in my very first game. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the chaos. Okay, so I'm, before we go into the introduction for this, I'm going to go ahead and tell you all a little bit about what we're doing tonight. We're on day two of our 14 days of Halloween events. There's going to be some great stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, but the big thing about tonight and the second part of this stream for next Monday is that all the bids and donations that you guys make tonight is going to go to charity. Uh, tonight we are representing the BCRF uh, group, which is the Breast Cancer Research Foundation in honor of Breast Cancer 
Cancer Awareness Month, and this is also in memory of my mother. Um, so this is something that is very important to me, and I am really happy that TPK has helped me put this together and that you guys are here with us tonight. Every little bit helps. I'm not pressuring any of you, obviously. I just want y'all to have a good time. But uh, I am going to put this in the chat if you guys want to take a look at the website that has all of our donation and bit rewards. There is both a good and a bad side to these. So if you really want to screw our players over, go for it. If you really want to screw me over, even better. <laughs> <laughs> but now that we've gotten the gist of this, let's get into the good stuff. So we are going to start with, what's the story, Mother? So, it's just another day at Hadley's Hope. Some of you have been here from the beginning, ever since the terraforming reactor went up in 2157. But that was damn well near 20 years ago. It's 2179 now, and everything is, for the most part, running fine. Um, Wayland yutani is slow to send you the replacement parts you need for the reactor, but it's functional. LV-426, or as colonists have nicknamed it, Asheron, Archeron, has at least a partially breathable atmosphere. It doesn't do much to save you from the biting weather when it turns bad, but you can get what you need to done on the planetoid surface, and I mean, the colony is still holding strong, so what is there to really complain? Honestly, it's a lot. <laughs> the equipment is shit, the food is shit, the company barely gives a damn, and there's nothing to do but work and chase the kids out of your workstation. The pay at this point might not be worth it, but it's home, and as boring as it is, you make do. And we are going to... I'm going to stay on the opening screen for a little bit here, but... We are actually going to make a jump over to Janice. Yay! I love going first. So, Janice, it's another day in the office for you. Basically, monitoring all the shit that goes on in this colony. Monitoring all of the communications uh, that come in and out. Today is a little bit different for you. Most of the time, you're making requests to Waylon Yutani, trying to get them to send you something that you need, or get them to actually reply to anything. But today, somebody messaged you. There is a note. There is a communication line from somebody named Mark. has requested that a team of surveyors go out to a very specific plot somewhere out on the planet's surface that really y'all are pretty far from and nobody cares enough to go out that far. So you have that. What would you like to do with it? Um, what is normal for putting survey teams out? Like, are there certain people that always go? Or is it just I pick who I'm annoyed with the most and send them out? So, for the most part... Hirsch is going. Hirsch is going. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It says that I'd sack Hirsch if I want. I figure that's probably in character. <laughs> Valid, absolutely valid. However, uh, Hirsch is not a certified surveyor. Oh. <laughs> the there's really only a couple of teams that are surveyors. Um, one set is a couple, and then there's a couple of more who already have their own tasks that they're working on dealing with the reactor. So, if you would like, you can send a note out to this couple and have them go check out this. That sounds very reasonable. I will do that. All right, then. I don't know if anybody will say I'm a, we are as reasonable, but. Um, yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> it's 
excuse you. I take my responsibilities very seriously. <laughs> I'm just reading my character sheet and hoping it it works at this point. New systems. Woo-hoo. New systems. They're pretty great. So You're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> We're all here to learn on the job. <laughs> yeah. Just like this family, actually. So you get the notice out to this couple, and they accept it, and they take their couple of kids, and they head out. Um, take your kids to work day. Yeah, hey. pretty much. I mean, what are they, what are they gonna do? Leave them in the facility to run around and cause trouble for everyone else? But I mean, that'd make for a much more fun adventure, but, you know. Yeah, but remember, there's no native life forms in this planet. None. That is true. So they're they're fun- none whatsoever. Nothing All right, living, totally safe. Nothing living on this planet that you guys haven't brought here yourselves. Excellent. So, this, it's a few hours pass by. You're doing paperwork same old boring stuff dealing with uh some one of the uh engineers is getting a little a little fussy about stuff um so if you want to you can try to smooth that over you can tell him to fuck up and get over it that's you know what you do you um i will What's more in character? I'm to pull up your bootstraps if then you will. <laughs> <laughs> I never yeah, that. I will. I will call them on it and just be like, "Buckle down, do your work and stuff." They time to note him for sure. Rumble, but nonetheless, <laughs> yes, I I make a note in their file. <laughs> rumble. I've never been anyone's boss before. I don't know what to do. <laughs> they grumble, but nonetheless, they get back to your work. It passes like this for a few hours before you get a call on the shorter range radios. It's the survey team coming back to you. Cool. Did it go well? So it actually starts with the woman screaming into the radio. <sighs> It did not go well. Mm. Uh, you don't She's tell that. Screaming, we need help. We need you to get medical. We need you to get medical set up now. We are on our way back. Something has attached itself to to my husband's face. I don't know what to do. This is. I, we're on our way back. Um, yep. And that's about all you get. Um, she stays on the radio for a while, so if you would like to, you can try talking to her to calm her down. In the background, you can hear, um, her kid crying. Oh, buddy. Um, yeah, I will immediately call out medical and give them the information they need and then just try and, like, calm her down. I assume that I've never heard of anything attaching to faces, or have I? No. This is completely <laughs> brand okay, new. Okay, cool. Cool. This is... Yike. Yeah, this is completely out of the realm for everybody involved. But... Cool. Uh, would cool. you like to roleplay going through talking her down, or would you... Uh, no, I'll I'll let the rest of the crew get in on this adventure now. Okay. Please help! Please so, help! Please help! That means that Sunny, you are our resident medical, I believe. Or at least you're working in medical right now. <laughs> yeah, not a direct medic, but adjacent. Technically, there really isn't a lot. For medical research scientists or anything like that here. What is there to study? Rocks. <laughs> but um so you get that call from medical from Janice, and if you guys would like to go through and do that conversation. Hello, can I help you? I'm data logging mainframe thermal output sensory pings. 
Surveyors that I sent out a couple hours ago uh, are requesting some medical assistance, so you need to get out there, please. Thank you. Aren't they coming over here? I assume yes. I assume that my character would know that. So, yes. But you um, need to be ready to receive them. So, on your feet and go. It's only ever me, so yeah, cool. getting medical ready to go? Yes. Okay. So with you, you have Polaroid. You know that this is actually the android that is helping out, keeping an eye on things at the colony. Um, he's with you and just kind of asks what was that all about? She sounds very stressed. Can you repeat the name, please? Polaroid. I guess I missed the first pun. Is it P, Polroy? Allroy? H. Polroy. Allroy. Thank you. Uh, It's usual chitter chatter about someone needing medical attention. Seems a little bit more urgent than usual, but I mean, guessing what's been going on these past few weeks, <laughs> what even constitutes more than necessary at this point, am I right? I suppose that's one way of looking at it, was something different. I haven't seen that kind of urgency from anyone here. Oh, please. I'm pretty sure it's just a, a cut or something. I'm. What could possibly go wrong? Please tell me he left the comms on so I can be like, uh, actually, there's something on his face. <laughs> Oh no, you would have been hung up on a long time ago. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I mean, just kind of observes you for a second and says, All right, well, I suppose that's what we can work with until they come in, right? Do you know where they're coming from? Um. They were uh, surveying, so I suppose they were out on um, a mission of some type. I mean, usual courses that have that they've been going on recently haven't resulted in any injury, so this one must have been quite different and or point of interest. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I see. Well, if yeah. you have a handle on prepping the examination equipment in the labs and I will go meet them at the vehicle bay. Please do. And I'll, st I'll start putting everything together. Alright. And he nods and he leaves. Now we come back to where we are in the vehicle bay. We have Hannah and Morgan. Both of you are kind of doing your own tasks. Uh, and it seems something's up with the... the... Shit, what's going on here? Face. I'm sorry, my ADD <laughs> is acting up. <laughs> no worries. Big mood! That's what we have One of the... Essentially, one of the drones that's used to go out and gather data during the bad storms has malfunctioned. So you're hanging out in there, working on that, trying to get it operational so that you can send it out for the next storm. Mm -hmm. And Hirsch, you're here, just kind of doing the same thing that you always do, cleaning up everybody's mess. If you guys would like to engage in something here, go for it. How busted up is this drone? Uh, it, it's pretty banged up, like <laughs> out outwardly, but most everything here is. Let's see. It's everything shit. <laughs> everything is shit, but um, overall, it's fixable, it just takes some time because you're having to 
work around not having a new part that you need. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I guess there's not really a means of requesting parts right now, huh? We're kind of out on our own. You would have been, you would have been trying, but <laughs> it takes some time, even if they artisan. So generally, I'm pretty like. Duct tape. <laughs> you're having to, you're having grumpily to work with some people to get some things done. Yeah. Jerry rigging whatever and reluctantly you need to. Cutting <laughs> around with this. So yeah, that's kind of yeah what I'm doing. Just looking all surly like. <laughs> while I deal with this. <laughs> Singleton, what's up with that little droid of yours out there? Need an, any way I can help you? Unless you can find a, you know, the part I'm missing, uh, or something that can work. Instead. Well, I don't really know if I can do that for you, but if you need me to clean any parts of those, those of yours, uh, that I can do. I think we're fine. I don't need. There's no. There. There's no saving this cosmetically, anyways. So. <laughs> All right then. Peace be with you. <laughs> I love Just it. Goes back to it. <laughs> Within a few minutes, Alroy comes yeah. into the bay, and oh, I realized that I did not actually move y'all over. <laughs> <laughs> the life that we're living right now, y'all. It's fine. <laughs> so we can give you some appearance here. Oh, that's that's a show up in. oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I love a good map. Hmm. All right. We're not centered, but it's workable. <laughs> so right. it happens. Oh, well, as soon as you Let's nudge see. yourself, it centered me. Okay. <laughs> cool. You guys should have control if you want to double check that. But uh, am I on this map? You are not on this map. Okay. We drag our token. I usually use the arrow keys. <laughs> That feels like a video game. <laughs> GM, would you do you want to uh, drag our token or are they placed where they need to be? So uh, you guys are actually not on this level. So we're just going to focus on what's going on in the vehicle bay at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. But we will come back to the locations that you are at in a sec, okay? okay. All right. So we have the vehicle bay. You guys have been kind of changed chatting, and as that conversation wraps up, uh, Polaroid steps in the vehicle bay and nods at both of you and says, if you all would like, I might need some assistance. Seems that we have a surveying team that's coming back with potential injuries. I'm not sure what the conditions are at the moment. You can help I or guess. you can leave. I mean, I work with machines, but I, I, mean, guess, I guess you can see what uh, what's going on. I'm strong and I have a steady hand, so the Lord put me here and must be for a reason. I'll stay. gives a call up to Janice. Sweet. And asks, do you know yet when, where the family is? How is there a way for me to, like, check coordinates on their vehicle or anything? Uh, not really as far as tracking goes. Um, the only really tracking that you guys have access to is centraled around the colony and that's because everyone who's in the colony has a tag essentially uh, either via an implant or a physical tag that 
is pretty much how you track where they are in the colony. For the most part, everyone's there. You're missing the three, four people that were with the survey mm -hmm. team. Um, so in order to actually find out where they are, you do need to contact them. Could I, like, run a scan for the tags of, like, oh, they're this direction by this many miles or something? The Otherwise tag, I can... The tag's really only going to register past the, like, traffic control, past Landing Bay. That's okay. not going to give you an idea on how far they are, though. Okay. Um, I will try and get back in contact with them then and ask if they have a current location and if there's any change in condition of that. Uh, okay. The mother gets on the radio and she pretty much confirms that we're we're about um a mile out, maybe? We're about to pass traffic control. So, I can see the land- I can see the tower from here. We'll be there. Um, oh shit, why can't this thing go any faster? Um, well, you're almost there, so just keep trucking along. Um, and then I mute and go to Holroyd and tell him they're almost a mile out by traffic control, so you should have them pretty soon. Please make sure you have everything you need, as it sounds like the situation is pretty rough. Understood. Do you have more information for me? Sunny didn't really give me a lot to go off of. Well, all I have is a lot of screaming from one of them, and a there's something on their face. So, do with that what you will. Thank you. Then a few minutes, a few long minutes later, the doors for the vehicle bay come up and in comes the surveying vehicle. Out of it, a basically as soon as it's in the door and the door is shutting behind them, the mother is getting out and trying to rag her kids out get them out of the vehicle there's a boy and a girl um the boy is a little bit older she sends him like go back to her go go back to the apartment um we'll take care of dad it's gonna be fine everything's fine and Can i have like base guards like quarantine them though before they can make it back to their apartment like, is that an option I have? Uh, you can definitely have a couple of the marshals. Um, because, hey, something on. mysterious. I'm not letting that wander around my base. Yeah, that's totally fair. And if yeah. you're putting out a couple of calls, I, um, the marshal shows up and essentially he's going to take the kids. I don't have a token at the moment, but cool. that's fine. Um, we're just, we don't harm children, it's fine. We don't harm kids here. But, um, Marshall's going to stop the kids, basically, at the door and take them over here to... Perfect. Where this, um, it's like Stick a little office. Stick them in the closet. It's a little office area so that people can closet. monitor what vehicles are coming in and out. Um, he takes them over there and sits them down and the he's trying to keep the boy and the girl from looking out the little window mm -hmm. and it's not going very well for him but mm -hmm. the mother looks at all of you and says oh thank god help me help me get him out of here and you guys go to help that I do yeah I mean all right, let's see what's going on. <laughs> All right. Then you guys go to help this woman pull her husband out of the 
passenger side of the vehicle, and it he has. I guess that means there's no threat and we win, right? There's no right. threat. Everybody survives. I'm just gonna make, put a token and make it really big. They oh. just quor- <laughs> they just quarantined for 14 days and they wear masks the entire time and everyone's fine. What a Ta-da! We fixed it. I mean, our, our he's I don't think it's actually showing up on stream, which I'm not quite sure no. why. I was going to say, it's definitely showing up for... Oh, that's us. Yeah, but um, to go to give you guys that description, there is a unidentifiable creature. It's got eight long limbs, kind of like really long fingers wrapped around his head. Um, there, it's completely covered his face, and it's got a long tail that's curled itself around his throat. It's the woman tries to pull at it at the tail to try to get it off. Another fruitless event, fruitless action she's tried the entire time she was on her way over here, but it just seems to tighten. What the actual fuck <laughs> is that? Well, then we have a man here. Under the stress, so I'll go over and try to pick him up. So you go and help pick him up, help carry him? Mm hmm. Okay. So you and Polaroid pick up this man and start to carry him off. The mother is very close behind you. Mm. Good. She's gonna get quarantined too. I hope she knows that. <laughs> well. Uh, it takes some working away, working your way around, but you guys do get back up to the at bay. And Is it responsive as walking, carrying him? No, it's almost like he has gone comatose. He is completely alone and yeah. does not seem mm. to react. It seems like he is breathing, though. So there is that for you. What is the thing on his face? Can I see this actually? Or am I like up in command somewhere? Uh, you cannot see it as of right okay. now. This I will place, not ask questions then. The cameras in this place aren't great, just like everything else. <laughs> but uh, you, you get some of them that are working. Vehicle bay, it's pretty much the outside facing the doorway so that they can see. But. <laughs> You guys yeah. carry him. Oops. It was carrying him. I like to ask the woman, the mother, what were y'all doing over there? <laughs> you look at the devil's own son as we were in your husband's face. We, we were just following orders. We got, we got a call from McQuarrie asking us to go out to this plot of land. Something about company orders. What on earth? What on earth did you find that like made this happen, though? I this big. It almost looked like a ship. It's like a big horseshoe jutting out of the ground, and we went inside. And oh, God, we shouldn't have gone in. We shouldn't have gone in. <laughs> well, let's hope Sarah's so. gonna do something about it. He's a He's a real smart one, that one. Ooh, your husband, though, could have used a few less down to tell you that, though, as we hurry over. It, it, she doesn't really get a laugh out of that one, but... <laughs> um, you guys... Get around. There's... A marshal that's kind of going with you guys, making mm-hmm. trying to get people out of the way. Um, and 
basically trying to keep people from seeing what's going mm-hmm. on so that it, people aren't packing, aren't panicking, sending them back in their offices and their homes as you go down the hallway. And right. eventually you make it to medical. <laughs> Make sure that so there, we got some rod interesting for you. <laughs> just put uh, turning away right now from you. Just put him up on the table. Let me. I'm finishing getting things together. A magnanimous dispensation. Yeah. <laughs> what was yeah. it? A scratch. A wound. I mean, what could it have been this time? I was laying on the table. Uh, what are you? What are you guys look right? Guess. Is that all you? All you think? Remember, there's something interesting there for you. Can't wait to see what it is. And then I turn around. Do you see that? Strange abomination clutching his face. And I'm going to assume that means that you are left in shock and speechless <laughs> because you were not saying anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag shook. Mm. Sorry, Sigs, I know you said you were a little bit scared of the Iraq meds, but. This fellow needs some help. Um, give me. Let me pull up his chart. Up. Um, Hirsch, if you would like to help me move him into quarantine bay. Uh, sure. Well, where, where are? All right. Alrighty. Uh. This is new. This is different. Um, GM, I would like to... Who's in the room with me aside from the husband? So, currently, the only ones in the room, this room, are you, Hannah, and the mother who Holleroyd stopped at the door here. Hirsch and Holleroyd have taken him into the examination quarantine zone. I'm going to have to ask you to add two stress die to your pool, Dev. That's fine. Um, Hirsch and Hannah. This is fine. Hirsch and Hannah, I need you to add one. Why? You just click the box on the stress level, right? Yes. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the husband, the husband was taken away, and it's me, Hannah, and the husband and the wife. Okay. Pretty much. If you are in the main area of the med bay where all the like, lab equipment, the entry stuff is, um, they have currently moved into another section of the med bay, which is. It functions as a quarantine zone, but also it's where all, like, the med beds and the operating stuff is. So Hirsch and Holroyd are loading him up into one of the examination um, tables to do a full body scan. Ma'am, while they go ahead and get the standard operating procedures done in place, can you go ahead and tell me what you saw and what led to this thing? Uh... You're talking to the wife? Yes. Uh, she paces back and forth in front of the window and says, it, it was really strange. We went into this crevice and it was, there must have been hundreds of, they, they look like eggs. And he, walked up to one wanted to see what it was and this thing jumped out at him and wrapped itself around his face 
Um, while she says this, I'm going to start uh, slowly rub tugging against the edge of my uh, white coat and respond with, have you tried taking it off? I tried pulling on it, but every time I do, it seems to just get tighter. Uh, have you noticed, have you been able to see any openings of teeth, pincers, claws, any of the like? Uh, is the tail currently attached to it, or is it hanging? I... Why don't you go take a look yourself? It's just standard procedure. Uh, okay, uh... I, I'll go ahead and inform you whatever I find out later. Uh, at this time, I'm gonna have to ask you to please uh, go back with your uh, family, children. Uh, thank you. And I will head into the examination room to meet with the others. Assuming I probably can't uh, take a peek at what's happening. Not that uh, I'll get up that close anyways. <laughs> Six feet, guys. <laughs> We're social Make it 18. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Make it 18. Um, so, Hirsch, after you guys get him onto the table, Polaroid does shoo you out. It says, for safety's sake, there's a, a shower in the corner. Please be sure to decontaminate yourself, Hannah, as well. I will yeah. let Janice know, and they get on the their conference, the uh, communications for a second here, which for everyone watching and players as well, there and players there is a key in your handout folders that tells you what all these colored boxes and things mean. Ooh. Um, so the blue ones, these blue squares, are access terminals. This is where you can do things like make contact rolls or um, interact with to try to do something like bypass the door, for example. Um, the red ones are intercoms. They also function as communications. So uh, he's going to make a call up to where you are, Janice, Oops. and inform you of what's going on. So you haven't found a way to get it off yet? Not yet. We are still doing an examination. I am having... Is it something I need to head down there for, or do you have it handled? I believe it is best to minimize exposure. All right, I'll stay here. I am having Hannah and Morgan decontaminate, and I can send them up to you to give their report. Excellent. Sounds great. Thank you. All right. So we are starting that, and see, Sunny, you went to the exam room as well, right? Yes. All right. You step in, and he actually sets the door to lock with quarantine procedures in place. Sure, nobody vents in, though. Now you're stuck in there with the spider <laughs> crab. Make <laughs> <a> fuck. <laughs> All I know how to do is make Among Us references and COVID references, okay? <laughs> I mean, this is bad. They, they kind of go hand in hand right yeah, now with this do. scenario. And <laughs> he is suiting up, essentially. Preparing it for is. operation standard procedure, I imagine you would be doing about the same? Yes. Is Hallroyd with me? Yes, he is with you. You are not locked in here by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right, I'm going to get my gloves on. I'm going to get everything else together. Um, and I'm going to just... Sl- wait for him. I'm not going to engage in a conversation with him until he's ready and just be tapping um, my right foot a bit nervously. This is new. This is different. Is that something that you comment aloud? 
Or is that just kind of your thought process going on right now? It's a sheriff thought process. Okay. So he's all suited up and steps over to the examination table. We're actually going to say this is in the middle where all the equipment is and the man is inside getting the full body scan and work up done and he's observing what comes up on the screen and asks, are you ready to come join me? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, Harroyd, go ahead and go uh, fetch me the um, flashlight, please. And get my papers together. Um, sir, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much is your pain right now? Man is unresponsive. <laughs> you do not hear anything. He doesn't say see. anything. He doesn't even seem to react. Okay, no reaction. Um, All right, sir, if you can hear me, we are going to go ahead and set you down. We're going to go ahead and lay you on this bed, and we are going to lock you into place. We're going to go ahead and do a physical um, and see if we can get any responsiveness out of you at this time. All right, thank you. (laughs) I'm very unsettled right now. I love the consent. <laughs> handling, handling it just fine. Right, let me go. Uh, let's see, which one do I have here? Uh, tweezers, tweezers. Um, Halroyd, also make sure to grab the pair of scissors uh, and scalpel to collect any samples if necessary. Uh, and I am going to. reach across on hit the back of his neck um, and just kind of do put compress lightly see if I can get any uh, responses from him little somatic responses if anything so I'm gonna adjust these things one at a time um, so Holoroid kind of gathers everything that you asked for the tweezers scissors the um the little light for the examination. Um, he also comes back with specimen jars, sanitary cloths, everything that you could possibly need or want for it. <laughs> yes, it is a wig proper. <laughs> but um he has everything set up on a tray table that is rolled up next to you and helps you uh, move the gentleman from the examination tube, tube essentially, to what's more of a lay down bed. And the computer's still kind of processing thing. It's, it's taking a few minutes to kind of get the whole scan done. But overall, that physical stuff is fine. Um, and you start kind of poking and prodding this guy. How would you like to go through and describe what you're doing? First, the prodding, yes, of the um, sp- of the spinal cord in the back of the neck. See if we can get any, uh, feel any atypical kinds of uh, tension feeling there. See how he responds. Um, if anything, and after that, I would like to um, do an analysis of uh, the foreign object on his face, which is uh, one of my talents. Okay. That's a very diplomatic way of putting face sucker. (laughs) Foreign (laughs) object. Okay, so... Go ahead and do the um, observation roll for me, plus your two levels, two levels of stress. And as far with as that, 
I roll observation and with modifier, is that a negative two or plus two? So as far, we don't do modifiers. Um, okay. So you'll be rolling two base dice and two stress dice. So you have one success, which I'll tell you the result of your initial prodding, and then you can ask me one question about the organism that you are observing. And then, of course, I would give you your, what you get from it. But the initial prodding, as far as like the spinal column goes, you don't feel anything. It doesn't seem like it's worked its way into his neck or anything. Like, if you're examining the tail, it's just wrapped around. It's not puncturing the skin or anything like that. Um, he does not seem to respond, like, at all. However, the organism does. It tenses a little bit as you get close to it. And as you start kind of rotting around where it is. Ooh. Okay. Uh, question about it. A question about it. Uh, what's a good question? Good substance. Uh, is it? Is it like a? It, it can be like any open-ended kind of question about it. Yeah, it can be. Any question. That counted as your question. <laughs> I am not a genie. I am not a genie. That does not count as your question. <laughs> How do I fix this? <laughs> and I, through this uh, quick analysis, figure out uh, its purpose. Uh, in the moment, it, it, it's attached to him. Can I figure out, in a way, what it's trying to accomplish so from just physically examining it you don't get a lot of information however since you got the success I will say that the scan finishes up um, so you have that to look at now as well and as far as you can tell from that full body scan this organism has, yes, wrapped its way around his head and his throat, but there also appears to be some kind of tube going down into his throat, down his esophagus, to about middle of the rib cage, somewhere around the diaphragm. Chest, if you will. Hmm. <laughs> Right, Halroyd, it looks as if we're going to go ahead and um, attempt to remove the tube and this uh, object um, from the from the individual here. It, uh, it seems as if there is a inner lining in which it connects to the uh, patient's diaphragm. Uh, purpose unknown, but we obviously don't want to stay in there for any much longer, so... Uh, I'm going to grab a pair uh, I'm going to grab a pair of scissors ask Halroyd to firmly grasp onto the object and I'm going to attempt to sever the tube okay. before doing anything else you're talking about the tube that's going into his throat? Mm-hmm. So I will say that that, in its current state, that is not possible. You cannot oh, it's, lift uh, it. Yeah. Okay. It's completely, okay. like, flush against his mouth. So you cannot access that without removing the mandibles, without trying to pull it away. I will attempt to... I will attempt to sever one of the mandibles. Okay. So I am actually going to the scene there for a second um i noticed that you removed a stress dice from your sheet it is actually backwards you do need 
who add another stress dice. Every success you, you make, you get a stress dice. So you should be at three now. Got it. Thank you. It's alarming. Also, has <laughs> anybody very... considered like giving the tick treatment to this? Just like salt it or like fire <laughs> it. It should be fine, <laughs> right? I imagine Hirsch is somewhere. Uh, Hirsch might have some holy water somewhere. I'm not sure. But, um, <laughs> so we're going to cut the scene there for a little bit because we've devoted quite a bit of time to this. Um, I mean, Hannah <laughs> and Hirsch. So you guys go through and do your decontamination. Um, the mother, because of a marshal, does much the same and she is escorted out. You two, um, do you want to stick around and see this, or do you want to do what was suggested beforehand, where you go up and talk to Janice? Do we have to go? Do we have to go up, or should we? Can we use like the intercoms if we really wanted to? You could use the intercoms. However, are you saying you don't want to have a face-to-face meeting with me? <laughs> Am I that scary? <laughs> Uh, Holroyd, I will... We're friends, Singleton. Okay, fair. We are buddies. Mechanically, (laughs) we are best friends. It's in the rules. Uh, Come uh, talk to me. I will state that Holroyd already stated that you guys would go up and speak in person Uh to her. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, well, yeah. Head up, No, you have to. Uh (laughs) I was gonna. I was just asking. Sure. <laughs> well, I was never gonna, and I like to stay and look through the glass. <laughs> so you're gonna hang <laughs> out? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, it's I'm okay. Hannah and I are just gonna talk shit about you now. <laughs> well, I'm going to listen to orders, so I'm gonna head up there. That's my best friend. <laughs> Good vibes all around here. All right. Only friend there. <laughs> Um, all right so we are going to cut from the med lab for a little bit and go up to Tom's. where is my player thing here it is and i don't have all of this map labeled yet unfortunately but that's okay Take my but word for it. Out, you're you're in comms. <laughs> but you figured out the dynamic lighting, and that's all that counts. It, that's all that matters. <laughs> all right, so we <laughs> got Janice. You are here in comms. This big yellow block here, that is the mainframe. It's the main computer interface um, for the colony. It is Perfect. also. Where in the center of the room here, there's this big table that's Mm -hmm. pretty much like a giant um, screen. So you can see a full map of the colony. I sit there always. You can see all the ducts and everything like that. Um, It goes all the way out to the reactor and to drop control. Um, And this is kind of how you keep tabs on where everybody is in the colony. So that tags. essentially from <laughs> dog tags. <laughs> it's the Marauders map, so I if just you, get to watch everyone like ah yes. There's there little pings around the ding, ding. pings around the map that tells you where people are. It's a little bit dated, so it doesn't tell you exactly who it is. Mm. You just know that there's people there, and you can only hope that they're doing their job unless you make a call to them. Mm-hmm. But this is where you are. Make sure they're You're, not faking tasks. Don't fake tasks. Yep. Don't be sus. <laughs> um, this is where you've been for the last little bit. You're now starting to get calls mm-hmm. from some of the other people in the base. What asking, kind of calls? What are the, the marshals have- doing? Why are we being pushed back into our offices? Why are we being forced back into our rooms? What's going on? Is there and- oh? Is there a way I can put the base on like a soft lockdown? If you would like to, you can make an announcement. I will make an announcement that there is a specimen being transported throughout the base, so please stick to your rooms 
as much as possible. Please stay on task and just listen to the marshals. And if they ask you to do anything, please cooperate to the best of your abilities. Thank you. Okay. So for that, I'm actually going to have you make a poll rank roll. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. I um, opened that on the wrong tab. Oops. <laughs> now, all of, now all of China knows you're here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now all of China knows it's a boy. <laughs> so you need me. You need to roll me a command roll. roll. Command versus everyone else's manipulation. Yes. So, so you are going no, to be taking one stress. Yes. Yeah, so no modifiers, correct? Just stress and not stress. <laughs> so you would be rolling I, three dice. I have. It's not also plus empathy. Isn't that what I get to use? Roll your command skill versus the target's manipulation. Yeah. So, there so is I rolled a... command and there's eight dice because it's my three in command skill and then five of empathy, which is its category, I think. Hold on, y'all. Your GM might have fucked your system up, but. <laughs> I read the book and that's I what it sounded you. like. <laughs> Hi, I joined the game six hours ago and read the books mm, less than one hour ago. All right, ago. so players, <laughs> from this point on, whenever you are making rolls, uh, <laughs> click the little box that does um, that has what's listed. So, like, you're having machinery, your command, etc. Roll that, it, and then roll it will additional... Add your attribute. It'll add your attribute, and it'll add um, the actual skill. However, yes. you will still need to input the stress roll manually. I didn't have any stress before this, so would I have to roll, or do I just get it after this? It applies after you make them. Sweet. So, no stress yet, but now I am stressed. But I'm 16. However, <laughs> I, I did do succeed. need all players to make me a manipulation roll. A. Right. Bend to my will, everyone. <laughs> all of us? All of you. She yes. made a public announcement. I mean, you are sticking to your rooms and doing your assigned tasks, so... So then, okay, is it... So you click the manipulation roll and say I have three in empathy, does that mean that's my modifier? It'd be the extra number of dice. Would I get a bonus to this roll since it's my queer? It actually does not work like that, unfortunately. <laughs> And yeah, I only have the one stress dice right now. Okay. Which, cool, it actually automatically counted that because I have the checkbox. I'm so proud. Hooray! Oh, thank you. Hooray, thank Magical. You. Thank you, Roll20. We love you, you Roll20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, I have to look up who actually made the sheets, but I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Roll20. Thank you, random person. But We appreciate you, random so. citizen. <laughs> and I love you, random citizen. Everyone is actually compelled to follow those given orders. Ah. Other than Hannah, which I think is actually very fitting here. Hannah, you're kind of like, hmm. Yeah, I think. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm, doubt. (laughs) Press X to doubt. Um, (laughs) But I will say that you, this goes off as you're coming down the hall. Now, that has effectively put this colony in a soft lockdown, as you put it. Um, Everyone's still kind of doing their thing, but now Marshall's... I don't know if if that means what it does to you all as it does to me, because where I'm... Like, our school does soft lockdowns where it's like, you can stay and do normal classes in your classroom just as long as, like, your door is closed and stuff. So, like, that's kind of what I mean. It's like, everyone carries on as normal, but clear the hallways. Okay. That's about stuff. that's about how I interpreted it. So, Perfect. marshals are now starting to kind of move around. They're 
going around the facility to kind of make sure keeping people in check. Um, making sure that essentially, yeah, people are staying clear of the med bay. Cool. Which let me double check my map. <laughs> I really wish I had labeled these. So the med lab is actually right next to you. You guys Excellent. are on, you guys are on level two, so it's not a very long walk for you. <laughs> so I imagine as soon as you get the message from Holoroid, you go on comms and say, hey, this is what's going on. Sound appropriate? Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. And then... That's cool, it's been cool. After a couple of minutes, when the decontamination's over, Anna, you come and join her in comms. And so I heard that, you said I heard that, uh, on the way up, basically. Mm-hmm. You don't think maybe that might have set a little bit of a panic for, you know, the people who didn't see that? Or didn't see the specimen being transferred like hello it may have set a panic but it's an ordered panic Hmm. and right now containment is what I care about I honestly haven't seen it myself so I don't know what the deal is care to fill me in I saw it and I still don't know what the deal is Uh, is it something easily dealt with or is it something where we're going to need to keep the lockdown on for a while? I mean, the lockdown is smart. Uh, so never seen anyone yeah. do this before. Uh, so the wife described that there was some cre- like crevice that they had the survey team had gone down into and there seemed to be these giant egg things and mm-hmm. the Contaminee, I guess, uh, now has a weird spider thing hugging his face. Like, over the whole face? The whole face. And, like, a tail wrapped around the neck, all these weird little legs gripping the head. I would like to pull up Space Google and just check (laughs) if we've seen any record of this in the base's history or anything like that. Just in case. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I, you do not have access to Space Google. <laughs> this say, this, this is, facility is 20 is, years old. However, in the Are there records, like, <laughs> you know, the previous commander's personal log space or something? Space Yahoo. <laughs> space I'd Yahoo. Like, I'd like to Space Bing this, please. <laughs> <laughs> you, need okay. ask, do you, you need to ask Jeeves. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, uh, do you have any info for me? <laughs> but yeah, just like any, because I, I keep records, I assume, as like, this is the goings on of the station. And I assume whoever had my job before me would do that. So I would just want to check their records. I don't know why I'm motioning over here to this is where all the records are kept, but they are. <laughs> Where they're being kept, and that's where they're being kept. I mean, yep. you know, <laughs> the records live here. This is um, their home. <laughs> this is their home. So I would like to check any historical record that we have for any mention of this, just in case. So, no, you'll you're going through these records, and this is something that you already knew before. Mm-hmm. Nobody has been as thorough as you have been. You dang right. Um. <laughs> So you're going through that and you're not really finding much outside of like the normal quarterly reports. How's the reactor doing? How's the colony? Mm -hmm. What's the state of things? What do we need? No incidents. There is no record of anything in that plot that was surveyed. Okay. It's there's one dated like ages ago, like when the reactor was first put up and it just says it's clear. There's nothing there. Okay. 
Hannah, do you think you can get records from the survey team's vehicle that they took just to see if there's any information there? Or would I be able to do that from comms? Like, were they recording stuff? You would not be able to do it from where you are. All right, I'm going to make Hannah do all the legwork. (laughs) I'm going to stay here forever. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, car is my specialty. (laughs) See? I'm just using your talents. (laughs) So, Hannah, do you think you'd be able to get uh, any of the surveyor's notes and records from the vehicle for me, just so we can kind of cross-reference any information they found? I mean, I can try. I don't think... I'll definitely, like, go down and try it. Not going to guarantee that the hunk of junk will have gotten anything right, but, you know. Perfect. Uh, At least you're doing something. Sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll... At least you're trying my, to be productive. Do my best. So... Thanks. I guess I'll go down and try to take a peek at that. Yeah. A brisk, a brisk walk down to the first floor. <laughs> It's actually the basement level, so it's two floors down. Oh. A little bit oh, a little yeah. bit further. A little bit more of a I'm getting my steps in. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm trying to think of which is more appropriate for this. I will I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna switch maps because I'm gonna make this a little bit briefer. Um, yeah. Go ahead and make me a com tech roll because you're trying to extract the data from the computer that's essentially on it. A contact roll. Where did that? Uh, is it? I so said just a general roll then. Yeah. Or? Just select com tech. Oh, contact. Okay. Forget that. Was it? Wait. Is it? No, it's not command. Oh, there it is. Ha ha ha. I'm just blind. Don't mind. Felt that. And then. So. No, I'm actually blind, but I look like the character. Ooh. So I add <laughs> for in in my case, I had the one for contact, and then the two for wits. Because I have one in contact and uh, I have two in wits. Is that how yes. that works? Okay. It should be. Just... If you just select contact, it should roll everything for you. Okay. Because we discovered that earlier. Always yeah. happy to help as the uh, TPK intern. Exactly. Okay. okay. So that is a success. You do manage to get everything off of the off of the um, vehicle. Cool. I also get more stressed, right? You do not get stressed. Um, okay. You only get stressed if you push a roll, which okay. For as a reminder for you guys and for chat, when you push a roll, it's basically letting you re-roll. However, ah. every time you push it, you add another stress. So, All right. yeah, you add the stress and then you re-roll it, essentially. So you're psyching yourself out to do better. <laughs> Hopefully do better anyway. You might fail. Internally scream. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Right. Well, but... since I've got the information, uh, what's the thing say? <laughs> Magic card. It's pretty much you're taking the hard drive out of this, comp- out of this vehicle. Mm-hmm. And going over to the um, actual maintenance bay and hooking it up to the computer. And from there, you can transfer it up to comms. But... I want to take a look at it myself first before I send it up. Uh, If if I can. Essentially, what you find is just that the vehicle itself stops short of where this plot is, it's maybe half a mile of -hmm. where the coordinates it was set to are. And I got distracted. Um, 
exactly right. So you find that it pretty much stops short and there's record of saying, oh, we're here, we're gonna go check out the plot. It goes, there's about an hour of dead time and then it comes back and it starts playing the, comes back with the radio transmission from the vehicle back to the colony. So essentially what we heard at the beginning it okay. pretty much goes through all of that. Um, okay. <laughs> have a good night, Kali. But, uh, yeah, that's yeah. really all you get so to pretty, it. So yeah, pretty. so so not much. So just kind of shrug and send it up to uh, Neckward then. And then I guess... I'll head back up myself because, yeah, <laughs> there's not much else to do other than. Okay. <laughs> you guys head back. You head back up to command. Yep. Okay. So we're doing that, and we're going to make a little jump. I'm not on the right browser to make this jump. Hold on. We have AOL dial up here. Nothing works. <laughs> <laughs> so you're really going full immersion. Here. Yeah, I'm going full immersion. Could you not tell from the cosplay? <laughs> well, I was gonna say, yeah. Considering we we're dealing with a uh, good old fashioned black screen, green text computers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, who's on the phone? I need to get the internet. <laughs> All right. So we are cutting back the mid bay. At this point, Hannah's making her way back up to command, and Hirsch, you are watching on as they start their, for lack of a better term, operation. That I am. <laughs> um, would it be pot? Would I? Uh, would Hirsch be able to hear me if I like talk to him? Like through the glass or would it like the sound be muffled out it can be set up that um you can talk through the glass by default it's soundproofed uh like kind of keep yeah there's oh in that case there. it's okay cool 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 yeah there's an intercom by default it's kind of made to be um soundproof because of you don't want to disclose medical information for a patient you're working on to somebody else who might be in the lab. Those kinds of purposes. Not anybody but business but theirs. What's up there, but but <laughs> gonna I'm, give a, Unless it's a chest burster. <laughs> gonna give a quick look to Hirsch and just... <sighs> just kind of, you know, <laughs> sigh of... I don't know, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, Hirsch, overall, what is your reaction to all of this? How are you feeling? <laughs> Screaming to scare the other employees. Well, I'm not really too fond of Spire as it is, but uh, at least somebody has to. I might be the only one trying to deal with something about this, so I'm just making sure. I'm here if I'm needed. So, got the GBs, but I know enough to deal with them. Gotcha. I do appreciate that you continue your voice even when you're not speaking. I love it. <laughs> Very love soothing. I like it a lot. Okay, so then I suppose we are going to move forward with the operation. Yes. Um... So tell me what Alroyd, you were wanting to do again. Alroyd, please go ahead and uh, place a firm grasp onto the uh, foreign object as I attempt to cut through one of the mandibles holding on. And that is, the, I try to cut off one of the okay. mandibles. I'm not going to 
make you roll anything for that. It's pretty standard, Holoroid. Hold the mandible down uh, about where you want to get cut. Uh. What do you want to do like? I mean, we're, 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 we're trying to get this thing off, so I'm going for as close to the the mouth of the creature as much as I can. So you're going to want to do roughly where the joint attaches to the body, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Eight times. Yeah. We're going to do this eight times. (laughs) I'm not going to make you roll. Um, The first thing that comes up is Holoroid pushes as much of the actual body as he can and giving you a little bit of a work way to work between like setting his fingers in a certain area for you to cut in that area um, trying to make sure that it's clear for you the creature tenses up again he's trying to be delicate about it but there's not much he can do without it tensing up and threatening the patient um, but you go ahead and you cut through the skin of this thing and green like lime green blood spurts out of this thing as soon as the laser scalpel touches the skin and it squirts out onto Polaroid's hand and you see it burn instantly that false flesh kind of melts away and you start seeing the the white tubing and the wiring that synthetics are made from and he he doesn't pull away but he says I don't believe it twice to continue now that blood it's still hold on what am I gonna do here just keep burning make me a mobility roll to avoid getting splashed on (laughs) oh no oh wow I'm so proud of you. You get out of the way. You <laughs> full matrix. Jump back, um, and you can react to that how you will. But you do avoid getting splashed on. Fuck. However, this stuff starts. It hits the table. It starts dripping on the floor, and it is burning through it like acid. Oh no! Oh no! This is. This is out of my uh, capacity at this moment. Uh, pay grade, perhaps? They don't pay us enough anyways. Uh, <laughs> let's see, they don't have their... I'm going to look, look, look back at her. She's like... You, 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 <laughs> like the, no words, but in the verbal, in the nonverbal capacity of you saw that, right? <laughs> He pulls away and steps over to a cabinet where there is a and rifles through it before grabbing a bottle of what you know recognize is a solution of it's a basic solution. And he douses his hand with it, douses the flooring and the table to see if that does anything and it slows it. It helps a bit. And says, I did. Can't say I'm overly fond of what I saw, though. Um. I, uh. GM, in these, each bed has a casing that envelops it, right? That can, like, 
mini quarantine each patient within the med bay? So the one that you are in, the one that you're working on right now, it does. Because that central one operates kind of like a full-blown examination operating setup. So you are welcome to just go ahead and hit a switch and bring that containment down. These two on either side, like on the north and the south, those are pretty much just patient beds that have the oh. dividers between them. Um, I am going to... I'm so stupid for trying this. I am going to attempt to stab it in the middle. Right on. <laughs> Um, and I thought I had a stupid idea when I was like, yeah, pour milk on that shit. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just straight on going to try to stab it. Yeah. Uh, in, the in, 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 in the center. In the center. Where kind of, to the best of my knowledge, based on the scan, align, aligns anatomically with the tube. Um, I just want to try to get get in there and see what happens and then I'll press the switch if I need to but I just I, I can't not try it's okay I also can't not try stabbing things it's fine <laughs> alright so I'm trying to check something really quick Gonna have to make an entry roll for this dude oh, with no. the thing on his face. <laughs> that or we're starting combat in the hospital right now. Listen, this is I'm just playing to the best of my ability. I was gonna say doors are locked. It's not our problem right now. <laughs> There's no initiative roll. We die like men. <laughs> part of me cares, part of me may not care. I just I'm just this is Shook. <laughs> I think right. it says a lot about you that your base instinct after this whole calm, cool, collected exterior is I have to stab it. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in danger. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. I think that's a good good insight into your psyche there. So I don't, I don't know about that. Coolly, this is I am the dankest dungeon. Not sure what that alert was for, but thank you. <laughs> nah. But five dollar. So five dollar. Woohoo! I'm gonna have you roll me a medical aid. That's the best thing I can come up with for this to kind of get try to get where you want to go with stabbing this thing. And if you would like to, you can add a plus three dice to that. Plus three, uh, three d six. Because of your. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry. That was ignore. Th ignore the bottom. That is the wrong roll, sir. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what the extra three three. Uh, dice belongs to. It would be underneath base dice. However, I do need to... I need you to roll me. Let me double check the thing as, here as well. Because here we go. <laughs> you probably noticed. Yep. I'm I'm glad you're giving advantage on the enemy notice check, but <laughs> it probably noticed the stabbing. I think. Pardon me. Yeah, my two my two crit fails got canceled out with two success super successes, so I think I'm okay. Um well, I do have advan I do have advantage on this, so I would like to use one of my advantages that Turk gave me. Thank you, Turk. Yay. <laughs> so, so me. for advantage. 
Okay. So I'm going to say that succeeds in hitting where you want to hit. However, I'm going to need you to roll me a d6, I believe, for a panic roll, but let me double check. Does he get advantage if he's wearing proper PPE and N95 mask and all that? <laughs> to a panic roll? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. It's all mental. Thank you to to EG for now, and any of us can claim a free notice check. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Are we supposed to be tracking our own personal ones ourselves, or is somebody else keeping track of those things? I've only gotten one so far. I would appreciate this you keeping an eye on chat, because... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm running through multiple tabs at the moment, so... Yeah. You good. I'm just... Yeah, I've got the tab with the uh, stream up, but I've also got uh, another pop-out little window next to my pop-out of my character sheet to, like, have both the chat and the sh sheet there. Mm -hmm. But I also have two screens, so I don't know how many people have two screens. I'm just very good at tabbing. <laughs> Your man. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out why my cheat sheet does not have this table. Hirsch, <laughs> through the windows, let's recreate the Taylor Swift, you belong with me, like, <laughs> paper messages. Say, it's the being, only way we're talking to you anymore. <laughs> that don't being said, if you guys haven't had it added it already, I do need you both to add a stress dice to the acid. Oh. Okay, so make me... Hey. Oh my gosh. Yes. So stressed Every are you is, right now? This is brutal. I'm t I'm tippy toeing on the edge. Living on the edge. That's five. So I'm I'm halfway there. I feel a little bad because I'm chilling up in comms with one stress and doing totally fine. Your time will come. <laughs> I was about to say, you're you need to boss. I do that eventually. Come. I do eventually have to be the one to be like, everyone leave. I'm nuking the site from orbit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll I'll get it then. <laughs> Captain goes down with the ship. My palms are sweating. That's like, <laughs> it's it's that's like the I'm trying to stab yep. it. It's and just he's weak. Okay. So roll me a d6 and add the current stress level that you have. So add the num roll a d6 and then add the number of your stress to it. So what is that total? Oh! 11? That's a big number! Alright. So as a result for your panic roll, you must seek cover. <laughs> I don't know what that means, you but can interpret, I... you can interpret that as you will. However, your instinct cover. reaction is to find someplace safe. By doing so, press the button. All right. Cap, cap, encapsulate said patient. Phew. All right. The cover we... comes down, and he is contained. We have a panic button for this very reason. Gonna be, gonna, gonna be taking off. Gonna be taking off my uh, gloves. You're gonna be just um, gonna keep a scalpel with me on my person. <laughs> um, do all the necessary things, at, uh, decontamination, and get out to be with Hirsch. Okay. Nope. Nope. So nope. 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 I'm Are you taking the robot with you? Or are you just leaving him in there, Holroyd? It's okay, he doesn't have feelings. Right? <laughs> He's a oh, synthetic I'll, I'll, being. Um... <sighs> Let's be real, you wouldn't care about the robot. Hmm. 
Would you? I, I would tell Holroyd to, I mean, Holroyd can come with me if they would like. If not, they would just stay observant on the patient and let me know of any ab- abnormalities, new ab- abnormalities, if any. That is completely up to you. However, um, because you did succeed in stabbing this thing right where you wanted to, right where the esophagus is, there is more acid spreading out. Oh no! And Does more acid equal more stress? I think it equals that guy dying. Yes, it does equal more stress. Uh, and I'm, I'm just, the, I'm not go- <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not a medic. I'm not a medic. I just, I do other things. I kind of, I do everything else. So. He's trying his best. The acid spurts out from the center of this thing. It completely dissolves your scalpel and it drips down the side of the organism. It does not appear to actually affect the organism itself. However, it is also dripping down the side of the face and the throat mm. of this man. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, I, I'm I, so that is a stress dice I, for both of you. I take it back. I am I am a medic. I just I'm doing I just <laughs> things are happening and we don't like that. Uh uh, oh my gosh, Howroy, do you stay here and inform me through the intercom of any abnormalities if you need me to come back? Uh, I'm going to go, uh, yeah, and I leave. <laughs> and because of that, you're still bearing witness, right, Hirsch? Yeah, yeah. That's another panic roll for both of you. Oh, oh gosh. I didn't make this decision. Y'all did. <laughs> The ones that decided to stab it. All right, so Hirsch. That's what I will do. Good job. We respect that. Sunny, I as Sunny would do. Hirsch, you. I mean, we know you're talking about yourself too. You are doing solid. I wouldn't. You're you're doing solid. This, you see this, and it's okay. So this is the new normal, and (laughs) you're holding it together pretty good. And for Sunny. Laid on me. Uh, so you, you die of shame. Pretty much just let out a scream. You can do. You can flavor text that how you want by shouting, by yelling, cussing as you leave. That's up to you. How would you like to do that? Um, me and Hirsch are pretty close. I'm going to, as soon as I step out, uh, grasp him by both the shoulders and let out a muffled, like when you scream into a pillow, a muffled scream into his chest. <laughs> it's all right there, Sega. It was very great. It was very strong of you to do that. I wouldn't have lasted that long. No. I, I think he, uh, I think he might be dead. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, based on, I, I, th- th- that, that creature has corrosive acid. Part of it's, internal fluids and I, I I I fear for the man but I think he's gonna be gone and I hate to say that to his wife but I don't think the wife should know but I think she should know but I don't want people to know uh I um don't like the prospects that we're looking at here uh I I hers got uh Holroyd got hurt pretty badly um I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna just rub mm-hmm. my uh white coat mm. Well, that was a lot of talking there. However, the man was likely dead the second decided to open that egg. Uh, I don't know what would uh, what uh, some people decide to do such things, but I guess everybody comes in. God makes everybody in their own way. Nah. Did, did you say yeah. egg? Yeah. The, you didn't hear the man walking walked towards some eggs that he saw and decided to investigate for some double darn reason. So there's more of them. Hundreds, I believe. Don't tell now, me that. <laughs> I'm willing to tell you this because sorry, we might have to go in and see what's going on with that acid. Well, he is, he, he's contained. Um, I, uh, Why don't we go over there and 
get some vending machine and get you a little something. You're looking a little peakish. There, 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 there might be there might be some um, uh, acid left uh, that's somewhere on the floor. Uh, I I want to go. We can collect it as a sample later. Uh, I we'll, we'll leave for now. We'll come back to examine this. The the let's go. Yeah, let's go. What is that enough <laughs> to reduce some stress? So I'm gonna say it takes a little bit longer. Mm. Essentially, as you're going to as mm-hmm. you leave. You're walking down the hallway. You're heading somewhere to get a drink, right? Mm Mm-hmm. So, the good news is that a floor down, a floor down, and a little further north, there's a bar. So, would you like to go there? No, sounds like what you need there, Sig. I don't really drink, but I like their Shirley Temples. <laughs> also, Virgin Shirley Temples. Yeah. More of a rum and coke guy myself, but oh, we still I'll have coke it. hundreds of years in the future. Good to know. What do you mean? There's everything is coke. Everything. <laughs> everything. for some juices. Those are Pepsi's. Okay. Uh, I actually misspoke. It is on the same level as you. However, you need to go a roundabout way to actually get there. So in your time walking there, mm-hmm. you're Before, talking. Uh, Take some deep breaths. You know. Would, would we know if there's an, uh, an intercom in the bar? There is one in the hallway. Before we enter, uh, is the intercom? Can it be used to reach a certain room, or is the intercom as in like it's everyone hears? You, with some fiddling from the access terminal, you can get it to call wherever you need it to, as long as it's um, on the colony. I'll take it to, to calm. So, uh, Hannah, um, yeah, I guess Hannah may or may not be there, but um, McWhir, Mc, is it McWhir? Correct me if I'm wrong. On the pronunciation. Sure. <laughs> McWhir. McWhir. Uh, McWhir. McWhir can hear me. And uh, I'll say that. McWhir, can you hear me? Yep. Are you alone? Yep. I'm assuming I am. Depending on the timing. Mother, am I alone? <laughs> Mother. Um. I think at Mother. this point Hannah would actually be back with you. Sweet. Uh, Hannah's here, but I trust that, her. That, that's fine. Uh, um, her How did I are, it go? Uh, meet me and Hirsch at the uh, bar. Um, thank you. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for always hanging up on me. It's going in your written record, but I will meet you at the bar. Okay. So I will allow that to be enough time that Hirsch and Ooh. Sunny, you both lose two stress levels. Ooh. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> <sighs> mm. That hoe was so high. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are relieved. So... Uh, I mean, comfy at my nothing stress. like. <laughs> yeah, same. Still goosebumps yeah. though. I am actually nothing like gonna... hanging up on my queer in order to leave some stress now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're just saying it's therapeutic to hang up on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was that against I somebody you like. It's always therapeutic. <laughs> 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 you don't like. <laughs> okay. However, I am going to call intermission here. Uh, Yay. So we are going to flip over to that screen. Kat, you're welcome to hang out. We will be back in five minutes. Woohoo! Um, and see y'all we, soon. Will, we will see what happens in this ball. I love them. They don't have this thing. All right, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and xenomorphs. <laughs> are you saying there are aliens here? I, didn't I, know. I don't know. I'm not sure yet, honestly. I haven't seen any aliens in this game, have you? 
So we no. have... Okay, so just kind of let chat know what happened off screen. I've gone through and looked over all of the donations. Thank you guys so much for everything that you have provided so far. Um, we have div I've divided it accordingly so that we can kind of get the most out of this and based on what people directly stated. Um, I believe so far, Dev has used an advantage role given to him by Turk. And I believe, personally, Nif still has one banked as well. I have a plus two from Proper Nerdy, thank you! Hey. After that, it's pretty cumulative, and we will keep an eye on that as things progress. And I have ice cream. That's the most important update. That's the most important part, honestly. Ice cream is best. I made and, and inhaled ten chicken nuggets. I don't know whether to be impressed or disturbed. I'm very impressed. <laughs> but we are back. We are live. Do we want to continue with the comms conversation? The comms you hung up on me. Really well. <laughs> The communications he, and comms. <laughs> he hung up on me, so I have to go down and get him in the bar. <laughs> and I'm making a mental note to put a physical note in his file that he keeps hanging up on me. You say anything to Hannah on your way out? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, how how you doing, Hannah? <laughs> Uh, confused, uh, I'm probably gonna just kind of head follow. <laughs> yeah, I'd give, like, the head nod of, well, come on. But well, are you It's coming? not like I want communication in the, like, workplace, but, you know, let's go. I'm gonna make this smaller so I can move you guys. Oh, God, that's too small. Jeez. All right. Delicate game of do I select the name or do I select the token? I did yes. neither, apparently. Shame. I did one of them, I think, actually. One. Who keeps moving? Is everybody over there now? Oh, you're just stuck like because of something myself. that I did. Hold on, let me move you in the GM. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, <laughs> I can't. In the one that I have full control over. Because <laughs> you guys cannot walk through walls, but I can't, because I am God here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, guys. All my ice cream noises are right up by the mic. I'm sorry, everyone. All right. You guys are in Billy's Bar. It's really named Billy's Bar. It is named Billy's Bar. Okay. Billy Bar Armstrong. Make sure that this. Uh, Next time we will have labels. <laughs> Strax says that he can't hear us. No, no, no. I uh, can't hear the ice cream noises. Oh, good. Oh, good, 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 good. Because ice cream okay. is not a crunchy food. Let's say, wait a minute <laughs> here. We've been going for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are all in Billy's Bar. First, you've managed to get Sonny to kind of chill out a little bit, talking with him. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got your Shirley Temple and your rum and coke. And then, and in then comes Hannah I'm just going to walk in and immediately add more stress because I'm like, what happened? It's like, no. Hi, how you doing? Just what happened? I want to buy a drink. Get a drink. I don't think you have to buy it. <laughs> Man's gotta make a living somehow. Give me, Come on. I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> sit. Support well, I mean, Billy. Come on. I mean, if mm. you're the boss, though, it's like, give me a drink or you don't get to run your bar anymore. I own mm. this place. <laughs> um, I just kind of ignore that and go and sit right next to him and just be like, what happened? It's just us, right? Because everybody else is like in soft lockdown. Yes. 
Or if they haven't, I have glared them away. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Based off of um, anatomical screenings of um, the patient, the foreign creature uh, was attempting to invade his... um, body by some means for some purposes uh, through a tube down his throat into his abdomen um, for what reasons I don't uh, couldn't find out uh, it, <laughs> um, it, 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 upon further inspection of the object it appeared to secrete a corrosive acid that was embedded in its um, fluids, uh, bloods, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, um, Halroyd uh, got injured a little bit, but he's fine now. Uh, the the Some of the tools have got messed up as well, and I'm afraid the patient might um, be a lost cause. This is something that uh, is is uh, far beyond <laughs> my uh, capacity, and uh, I, I don't think we should get this out to everyone. I have. Is it a continued threat to the base? Does it need I, to be I, removed? I encased the patient um, in the surgical uh, pod within the med lab, so... Uh, is this a long-term solution that you have, then? Or should we do something not, better about um, that? I... It's a short-term solution because it, it, harm on the creature creates that corrosive acid, and I, I, I don't know how to abate that. Evade that. Um, well, you moved the patient without it doing anything, so just move the patient to an airlock and eject it. If the body's a lost cause, then we put it to rest outside of the base. What do we do about the the wife? He was an unfortunate casualty of living on the station, as we have had several before. And I will... Mark down that we will now return to that sector. Problem solved. For now. Okay. Uh, uh, um, I I don't. I wouldn't feel comfortable going back alone. Hirsch, um, Hannah, would you? Uh, you're two strong people. Would you mind accompanying me? I can send marshals with you as well, if you would like. Yes, I would recommend uh, not letting others find out about this it's it's come to my attention that apparently uh there may where they went there may be more i will make a note of it in the record that we will not return to that sector okay all right then let's get this over with so you guys are going with this plan you are going to I will remove. return to. Quick I will point return. Of, yeah. Uh, quick point of interest. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I would have asked just for clarification: Where is the disposal of ejecting bodies? I don't think we have a specific. This is where we eject the bodies. Shoot. There is. <laughs> I some, hope uh, we don't. I know there's on the there's like a morgue, but I don't think that yeah. would. Would there be like a crematorium? There is a morgue, and there would be. Like, do we have an incinerator a for a furnace? Because you can't exactly go burying people. Yeah, so there would be a furnace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of just rock. Go yeah, burying. my initial uh, thought like is just holes. like we just essentially bury it at sea where we just like truck out for a while and just drop it somewhere and then leave (laughs) yeah literally just eat the corpse (laughs) Um, Mm. but otherwise like incinerate it it. everyone's cool with this this is what we're rolling with 
I mean, I don't like that you're asking us to clarify this many times. I, this makes me feel like it's a bad plan now. I mean, I, 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 I it's not the best plan, but it, but hey, no, I will, it can um, be a bad it's, plan. It's made by the one and only Mac Weir. Let's go ahead and do this. I was gonna say, just I mean, out of character, Skelly is like, <laughs> is like, oof, brutal about this plan, but Hannah is just like, I mean, yes, brutal, <laughs> but this is life in space. So, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, Janice will kind of just like look around at Hannah and Hirsch to be to like, like gauge their reactions. You know, it's just the wife's fault for like lying to the children and saying things were gonna, things were going to be okay. She did this. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? No. You're gonna blame the mother for reassuring her children? Honestly, I'm mostly just questioning the guy that saw an egg and thought, yeah, let's poke it. Like, that's what I have a real problem with. Not to like, victim shame. It's my but... job. It's my job. You know? <laughs> oh, no, not you. <laughs> the dude who got the, like, yeah, no. He's oh. like, not you, Sonny. We're, we're blaming just the like, victim. Hmm, bl- this crevasse has never existed before. Let's go in it. Hmm, these eggs are weird. Mm. Let me look a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Well, let's go and eat this man, as like we are very uh, point blankly said. <laughs> this man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Let's go hate this man. Niffer said, "Yeet the corpse." Janice McQueer did not say, "Yeet the corpse." Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a very strict difference here. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, yeah. Saying uh, "yeet" would be retro as fuck, I guess. Yeah. (laughs) Retro is in. Yeah, totally. It's come back around. Um, I want to go back because Hannah and Hirsch are going to go with Sunny, apparently. Uh, I want to go back to comms and Burke was the person that asked us to check it out. So I would like to like immediately calm him back like, hey, no, this thing that you asked us to do, just don't do it in like much more professional terms and stuff but just kind of like hey this is what we found we i strongly advise never returning (laughs) and then i make detailed notes in like a personal report and then Mm -hmm. they get to take care of the mess okay so you go back to comms and you send out the message it takes a few minutes but very shortly you get a response it is not from Burke. It appears to be somebody that's higher up. A name is not given. It just states Waylon Yutani. Hmm. And it says you you gave the report that you're basically disposing of the body, right? Correct. Like, this is what we found, this is the conditions under which it happened, and this is what we're doing. I strongly suggest, given this evidence, we mark this as do not enter. Their response is try to res- try to preserve specimen. Hold it for examination. We are sending somebody to Already sent for consideration. What do I do? <laughs> what are you gonna do, Janice? Um, I will uh come down to the hospital wing, the operating area, and have them take pictures of it, and then not touch the operating room where all of the acid was. Um but then burn the actual body still. (laughs) Because I don't trust it not to spread. Maybe that's just Niffer in the middle of a pandemic talking, but... So, take pictures, but... Take pictures. Destroy, destroy it. Destroy it, take pictures, and, like, leave the crime scene as it was, 
because then I they have, can I, like I have samples of its mandibles, but that's about yeah, it. That counts. That counts. Um yeah, so All right. Yeah. Already the flamethrower. <laughs> Please tell me you just pull a flamethrower out of nowhere. <laughs> just you have one. Yeah, and my little janitor uh like cubic little thingy is just in your, one in of the, your cart? Yeah. <laughs> in your janitor supply cart? You just have a flamethrower? Well sometimes the quickest way to clean something is just burn it all down, no? <laughs> is it too early for a nuke from orbit? It's the safest <laughs> option. <laughs> it's the only way we can be sure. <laughs> uh so you're completely it going is. against company orders. Um I'm keeping a sample. We have a mandible and pictures, so it doesn't count as terrible. They said specimen, not, uh, they said specimen, not sample. They want the whole ass. They want the whole ass kitten caboodle McCrab fuck. Let me go read my character description. (laughs) This is, this is the, this is where you have that, like, ooh, you're torn. (laughs) This is my personal agenda. No, you know what? It's hard enough with the Whaling Yutani bastards breathing down my neck. So I think that I my job is to keep the station safe. And I don't like what Sonny told me about what it did when it came in contact with him. So I think it's safer for people's lives that we get rid of the main body. Capitalism. With the specimen. <laughs> With the specimen. We will. I will show pictures, and they may examine the room where it happened, <laughs> and the mandible and stuff, and they may see David's little broken little fingers. But my priority is keeping people alive and safe. Okay. Final answer: locking it in. <laughs> Because of that response, I'm going to go ahead and share something with you. Ooh. And, like, the way that I'm phrasing a response to Waylon Yutani would be the body's already been sent for incineration, but we have these things left. Just as kind of a, like, consolation, I guess. And also, mm. like, oh, I sent it for incineration before you told me. <laughs> Not my fault. Possible deniability, yeah? Yeah, exactly. That's what this is. They don't have to know. And I ask that you keep that secret for the time being. (laughs) Where did I get it sent? It should come up in the the little newspaper one. If you open it, there should be a tab that says agendas. And there will be something underneath it for you. Ooh! (laughs) Okay. Okay. Hello. So okay. You have done that, and Did you take notes. You're relaying to everybody else, like, "Hey, take pictures. Keep whatever samples you've already gotten. Get rid of that but, shit. But, but incinerate it. Get burn that shit to hell. <laughs> and like, <laughs> put caution tape around the operating room so that nobody goes in. And somebody probably check on the robot." Someone, someone give him a look over. Somebody probably do something about that. Okay. So, you guys get to Medical Bay. Um, you're about to go in to quarantine and deal with all this when you get the message from McQueer over the intercom. Do you guys have a response? Mm-hmm. So you just to be clear burn and only keep the samples. Mhm. <sighs> okay. Anything you'd like to say to that? In- internally <laughs> I like that face just <laughs> Internally, no, you fucking bitch. Uh, <laughs> outside, no, thank you. 
I hang up before he can. She does that. Room <laughs> tables. <laughs> That's spicy. Okay. So you guys get here. You're taking the call. Those of you who are by the window. Oh, let me. Okay. He has actually. Holroyd has actually moved the patient to a bed. The organism is not on his face anymore, and he is sitting up, fully conscious. Um. Still incinerated? <laughs> <laughs> the how organism is his... itself is. Wait, in how front is his face? Him. How is his face? Yeah, how's his face? Pre- he's he's pretty I burned see. up. He's gonna need some reconstructive surgery at best. <laughs> <laughs> but Holoroid mm. seems to have treated him as best he can. He's got like essentially medical skin patches over it to help with the burning. Yeah. Um, and, wh- and, and where got a something there, buddy? <laughs> where is the creature? It is. Holoroid has it in front of him on the examination table. It is not moving. It appears to be dead. And he Holroyd's looks like examining it. Press examining X to it. doubt, please. <laughs> no, he. I. That's not cool. Oh, right. What? What? There. What happened right there? Uh, um, so you're making friends. I'm going to because I because I can see through. He, like, let's see. Let's get the. Um, oh, looking at him through the glass. Yeah, because I can see it this <laughs> way, but I, you can't see it this way. So diagonally, I'll call into the the lab pod and say, Hallred, what are you doing? I am examining the specimen. That but wasn't please. what you were supposed to do. It came off on its own accord. The patient became conscious. I removed him in order to do a physical examination. Why didn't you notify me? I tried to. You weren't (laughs) answering. (laughs) I love how much emotion you always portray through breath. Just like... It's good. It's good. And what of the foreign object? Dead. How so? I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to determine the cause of death now. It came, it became unattached from the patient's face and went limp. A couple of death twitches, so to speak, reflexes, all that, but it's no longer functional. Have you done a body scan of the patient since? I have. I'm waiting on the results. Mm. I'm going to, um... Mm. What I go... Um... I'm going to look over to the other two and say, I don't like you coming into my space, but uh, it's special circumstances, so d- don't really touch anything. Just be there. Um, come on. Don't touch my lap. <laughs> don't touch my shit. Are you sure that's uh-huh. wise? Is he talking back? Yes. No one asked you, robot. Nobody asked the robot. <laughs> we can't vibe check the robot. He, he has no emotions. <laughs> he has no vibes to check. <laughs> um, we suit up in PPE then? You better. I thought the PPE is like in there. Like you enter, you dis- you dis- decontaminate, and you dress up. There's some up- there's set- setups on both sides. It's oh. essentially like this little alcove is that. a lock. We know how doctors' offices work. I I know where stuff is. 
All right, guys. We I've watched House MD. We dress up. <laughs> We've all seen Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We dress up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I suit up, I guess. Do you guys suit up and go inside? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were gonna go in there regardless. There's just, I guess at this point it'd be a little, morally speaking, wrong to burn the body. Um, <laughs> so you guys see the big gun? Um, what are you doing? Excuse you, follow orders. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure uh, McGuire was very direct and I am quite matter of uh, fact, like. Oh I don't think he wants to care about little things like life or people's um, emotions or family members. Or you're making uh, the moral call out. <laughs> all right, just I just said um, I care more about my people than I don't know corporate. that. <laughs> all right, I don't feel comfortable with the patient being in an open pod that can't be sealed versus the alleged death of this creature i think it is best that we um you switch over your tools um to a station where we switch the patient to this one so we can quarantine them in the lab your evaluation can be done with tools set up over there he's gonna say how's the dude reacting to being told he's got to get shoved in a pod again or shoved into the... so he's not caring for that idea it's like can... I'm fine I feel great can I just sir I under... uh, sir after just what happened we are in no position to go ahead and take any leeway on precautions I am sorry to tell you but we are going to have to put you back in this chamber but my wife my kids they and they will be waiting for you they're also in quarantine do they even know what's going it's on true. to the best yeah. of their ability <laughs> they've been told they're aware and they know that you're fine and as healthy as you can be now if you do us all a favor and move to the pod uh six here he's he knows what he's talking about don't make me come down there and pull rank <laughs> <laughs> don't make me do that um i will <laughs> i'll say uh um, Singleton, um, Hirsch, if you can go ahead and please uh, help m- m- move the patient over here, and I'll be looking at the 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 computer screen, awaiting the results of the the new body scan of the patient. Alrighty then. Makes sense at this point. <laughs> oh, by the way, as soon as he. Uh, as soon as you put him in, press the, press that button right there. Um, th- that red one. Um, it, mm-hmm. it is, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Great. So, is that yeah. the incinerate button? Is what? Is what <laughs> it's the incinerate button. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's actually an airlock that just jettisons the body straight up Sweet. into space. <laughs> yeah, right. That's our <laughs> sus eject button. Yep. <laughs> we we have all voted. It was like the pilot sus. seats. And we won't know until at the end at the end of the round whether or not they were an imposter. Unnamed <laughs> NPC was <with> sus. <laughs> <laughs> but he Yeah, at this point uh, grumbles yeah. and you guys help him get up. Mm. <laughs> so Holoroid picks up his little tray and stuff that has the organism on it and just kind of you for directions like, all right, where do you want me to move this? Because this is a med bed, bed, the operations table you want to contain him in. So it's the either- operations table is the only place to ensure a double quarantine within not only that space, but also this side of the med lab. Hmm. Understood. And he's going to take the tray and move it. I'm going to say there's some parts over here. We're going to go over here for the time being until he can transfer it to the actual lab. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I was about to mention, if you would like to continue operating, we can go ahead and seal it in a container and move it to a different space um, upon which we have further um, additional supplies. I want to ask the last thing, Spew, by the way. It was a spurting when we left. Uh, I, I, I don't really... Um, a few vials, a few... Uh, milliliters at best um to the best of my abilities i can assume based off the corrosive nature that it is a hydrofluoric 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 oh my what are the what are the compounds again sulfuric it could be um hydrosulfuric it could be um the combinations are endless really but at the end of the day it's corrosive and um it's it, it, it's vulnerable to fire which would have been take note of that it's actually that's what it would have been really good for this incinerator it would have burned that thing up okay remember like 10 minutes into the game and i was like take salt or fire to it and it's probably going to be fixed called it <laughs> mm -hmm. uh. so i'm so good at this <laughs> he moves the tray you guys are chatting a little bit as they get this guy up and moving the guy just kind of stops in his tracks and starts convulsing. Burn him. Put him in. Put him in now. Push him in now. Press the button. Press the button. Yeah. Roll me grapples. Would that be a close combat? Uh, yes. It's happening. <laughs> and I can't um. help. <laughs> I am pretty slow. <laughs> you go. <laughs> okay. So. Suplex him. <laughs> yes. Let me double check a couple of things here. That means we win. So Instant I am win. actually going to. disadvantage on one of you I'm using a bad table oh no no that's what you know it's about to you know that they the D, the GM wants it to happen All right, I welcome so to a I scripted it? event <laughs> it actually wasn't but you guys did this so okay. <laughs> who is gonna roll disadvantage oh. so, did we decide or both of you here, I'm gonna roll a d6. I'm gonna borrow a sunny sheet to do it. <laughs> one through the one through three, it's um, Anna. Uh, four through six, it's Hirsch. Does someone want to? Right. Does a does a free so, push roll in our yeah, table? Yeah, what's a push roll? So basically, roll the same thing again, and then we go with whatever was the worst one. Yep. A yep. push roll allows you to, by adding stress onto yourself, do a free reroll. Well, oh, do, oh, oh, does that somehow combat disadvantage? <laughs> it lets right, uh, you reroll the non victories, giving you another chance at mm -hmm. doing it. Oh, we never mind. That is a fail. So, therefore, <laughs> I need what? you to make a Because there's roll. a fail. All is right. that not a succeed? Because there's a little chest burster on it. See that chest? Yeah, you see, that's, the, you that's see the face hugger? I need you to make a panic roll to decide where yeah. we go from here. Ah. Fuck. Why well, I me? Mean, but you don't know what that means? Uh, it's not, we had it earlier, not I believe, good. actually. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say. Don't you have to, like, hide or something? Okay. Can push. Push to roll. Push. So, <laughs> yeah. Can Six we re roll the one? keeping it together. So you are okay. actually doing okay. Okay, oh, cool. <laughs> so that is a success. You are managing to keep him contained. However, he, it's, still, it's still struggling. And you also do get a... Um, actually, no, I won't force that on you yet. Oh. Yet. Oh. That... However, uh, due to a, uh, well, I have, nope, from other donations.
explanations that we also have an additional two complications and a stress of stressful event that has been oh. Oh. So I'm gonna incite one of those complications here. What is up with, this, with the chat? They want chat, us to die. Why do you hate us? <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all from why? the beginning. I had like three people who were gonna come in and really fuck y'all shit. No. <laughs> they just want to see the world burn. They really or do. The space. But <laughs> they just want to see the world get nuked from orbit. <laughs> I'm going to use that complication to say that you are not able to get him to the table. And we all know what's about to happen here. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh yeah, some of you haven't seen the movie. Yeah, <laughs> but um, okay. No, I know what happens, but <laughs> so there is a very help. sickening crack. Chat help. A very sickening crack, and the center of this chest turns red. Something starts jutting out from it. It looks like it might be his rib cage. The bone's poking out through the shirt. It hasn't quite ripped through it yet, but it's starting to show. And he stops moving and then convulses again as something else. It doesn't seem like it's actually him convulsing. It seems something in him is inciting it by trying to force its way out of his chest. And it rips through that shirt, and you see... I told y'all to incinerate it immediately. (laughs) Why didn't you do that? We're trying our best. You know know how usually people keep fire extinguishers? We need to keep just blowtorches in Casey's. Fire (gasps) extinguishers. Little creature. Oh... Yeah. Oh gosh. Death worm. Let me let me oh. show you, chat. Here you go. Wait, 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 wait. What? We have a good thing. We can find a beneficial find three beneficial items and a great item. We have a blowtorch. That is up for me to give you. Oh. <laughs> and it's, it, it just it requires, it requires you to actually find it. <laughs> yeah. You cannot you cannot just be like it can't materialize like out of thin air. I figured There's a you medical got... okay. torch. <laughs> I've done this before and I figured you got the bad things and we got to decide the good things. I don't know. No. <laughs> when it comes to torch. that in doing the great I- doing the great items and the beneficial items is things that you find when you are looking Okay. Sorry, you're also that not is something here. I should have clarified. This is true. I am perfectly safe up in college. I was going to you say, you're fine. just hanging out. You are fine. You're just hanging out. If, just, if, just Sunny, hanging out down the street. if Sunny or one of you would like to make that kind of a roll to see if you can find something to combat it, go for it. Um, it would be an observation. Um, but I will say that that means that Han- if Hannah or Hirsch wants to do this, then they are letting go. Mm-hmm. Don't let go. I, don't let go. Nope. Don't let go. Don't let go. Uh, is, is, is it just open initiative, basically, at this point? At the moment, yes. Um, I mean, fuck. There has to be. I mean, mm. knowing me, I, there should be something Remember to... Uh, there should be something to, to suture, 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 like... Is that the word? Cauterize? Cauterize. And cauterize. Wounds. Something with heat. Um, maybe I'm going to search. Okay. <laughs> Can you cauterize a rib cage back? <laughs> <laughs> but, but it'll cauterize the thing. Maybe it's connected. Maybe through acid. I don't know. Um, you are going to roll your observation to search. Um, yeah, give us a blowtorch. Come on, be nice to us, chat. <laughs> I do on, need please. all three of you to roll me panics. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll in person panic. <laughs> You're adding a stress die, but you are just going ahead and making a straight panic roll and add your current number of stress die to it. Tell me what your totals so, are. So five plus three, eight. Four. Eight. Hirsch is as stoic as ever. <laughs> Sunny, you went back down? I'm proud of you. <laughs> All right, so Sunny, you are a trembling mess. 
<laughs> Not again. You find yourself unable to function. I will say with that observation, you do see something that can help you. You do have some of operating equipment that's used to, like you said, suit, essentially suture things closed. It's on a bit of a smaller scale, but it's something that you could definitely use as a weapon. Um, oh, uh, it looks like someone did a plus two to any check or save. So, or Sonny, because he really so. seems like he's gonna need it. Someone just gave a, pl- a plus two? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's is that technically in this oh, oh, scenario uh, a minus two, or because it's positive? Are we trying to get positive? That would be... I think it would be, in this case, it would help me. So it, it would reduce the number to a six. Mm. If this is a, a, a safe, technically, if it's a panic roll to see if I'm fine or okay, so it would reduce the number or help it make it towards the number that would be better mm. by two. I had the system set in place where I knew what was what I was doing with those, and I forgot what it was. Okay, so in that sense, yes, I will say that you can remove two from it. So that aids you and brings you down to a six. So take a deep breath. (laughs) You start to shake, and then you like, okay, wait a minute. This is my, this is my lab. They come into my lab. Wait a minute. Um. Also, I want to give a big shout out to our donators. We have reached our halfway point. We are at 275 out of 500 for our goal. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That means that we will be, that TBK will be issuing a poll at some point in the near future where you can pick between one of the other two cinematics that Alien has released. And I will be your game mother once again. But mm. uh, we'll have more on that to follow, but thank you guys so much. Thank y'all kindly for your very... <laughs> thank you so much, but please, can you send me to help <laughs> Okay. I was, uh, I was gonna say, yeah, it's like, oh, on the one hand, yay, charity. Oh, on the other, oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> wait, charity. So, <laughs> Hannah, remind me what you rolled again. Was that an eight? Oh, um, yeah. Because uh, you said plus three of our stress, plus yeah. whatever our stress level is, right? Okay. So, yeah, eight. So, cool. same thing. You are a crumbling, shaking mess. And at I'm that assuming point. I'm letting go. <laughs> That is entirely up to you. However, um, um, I need you to note on your your thing. panic. Your, I think your panic your panic roll puts that together. So, um, you rolled a. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're at a five yeah, hover, because yeah. it was your two for the stress, so it's right, five regular. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I'm it already put hovering it over. So it. you guys are actually holding on. I am so proud of y'all. I am so cool. proud. This makes me feel really bad for what I'm about to do to you. Uh, <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> All right. So when you said I see the thing, I I just see it, right? I haven't I haven't gotten it. You have not gotten it yet. I'm gonna put Cry. it right here. Yeah, just slithers over. <laughs> it's still it's still out the in the guy's chest. Yeah, it's yeah. about to fall out because it's worked its way out. The police. Someone called an ambulance. Yeah, pause for silence. <laughs> Thank you, Alt. <laughs> All right. Away. Okay, so you you go and grab the thing. Hmm. Okay. So you've grabbed the thing. Are you approaching it? Are you trying to do something with the item that I gave you? Oh, I, I like, I like, I said, like, I wasn't sure how open initiative worked. So if I saw it and I can still have time to go grab it, yes, I would like to. Oh, let's see. All you really need is a lighter and a can of hairspray, and just like we don't have hairspray up here. I was that's gonna say true. that's a luxury. 
Their spray is on a different colony. Any aerosol, really. You can use a bag of flour if you need to. Was going to really? Say, yeah, like- the fineness of flour, if you make it airborne and then light it, it'll go up real no. fast. I will note that just movement is limited Just so to, you know. Movement is limited to 20 feet. So you started here. Use items over here on this wall. That contributes to global warming. Oh no. We so you can come. It. I will let it take enough time. Um, Hannah, Hirsch, would you guys like to do anything while this turn order is going around? Uh, it's making its way out of the guy's chest, right? Yes, it is about is it to. Like, it's for the most part made its way out. It's about to jump out. I mean, I'm freaking out. Can oh, I wait, grab no, it I'm by? Right. Um, no, you go do your thing. Oh no, I was I was trying to. I forgot that uh, the roll like it was it's including the plus three. So, uh, just gonna sh- try to shove it back in there because like. <laughs> What else are you going to do in that moment? <laughs> You're going to try to grab this thing and shove it back into the guy's chest? Isn't shove a move in this? <laughs> I was, like, keep trying to get the dude to quarantine, but keep it in him because, I mean, he's not getting up from this. It's fine. Like, it... <laughs> it hasn't jumped yet, so... I... I'm going to say roll your close combat. Okay. That is a fail on that, so I need you to go ahead and make me a panic roll. Do the do like the fail and the like super success? They don't cancel each other out. They do not. Anytime it shows up, you have to roll. Oh, it's automatically okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. (laughs) Plus three. Oh no! uh, It's already yeah. Yeah. So. That's where I'm at. Yep. Trembling, shaking, miss. Okay. Well, is that an extra so time? I'm going to say with that, that... Let's see. Is there something that... Anything that you guys have here? Uh... Is it in? It's not in the chest, right? It's not in the chest. No. Uh, so I'm gonna say because of your shaking, you are not able to get a hold of it. You try so to grab. Like, you try to grab it, but this thing squirms, and you are shaking too much to actually keep a grip on it. Mm. It's a little slippery, anyways. So it makes yeah, sense. he's covered in blood. So I mean, <laughs> it's a little bit of a struggle. I'm a bit at a loss on what to do. <laughs> Is there any way that I can help a Singleton with his uh, endeavor right there? If you hold him and he pushes the thing back in, you can just use both your forces to just squish them together in the middle. <laughs> Our powers combined. Which, yeah. Which powers a body's combined. gone for. Okay, where is the... This is the paw that has the um, encasing, right? The middle one. The middle one. Costume one action of the same kind. You have to state that you are helping someone before any dice are rolled. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. I would like to then help, uh, if I can, Sig with what he's hopefully about to do and stab this thing or burn it out. There are also a bunch of marshals around that you could maybe ask for help. Yeah. Yep, there's somebody outside who has not quite heard the ruckus yet. Because again, oh, soundproofing. I don't know how. Soundproofing. They're, 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 they're not looking. They're turned the other way. Behind they're them is like all the like, and this is all soundproofed. Yeah. It's like they couldn't hear Sunny screaming, but yeah. This is like that comedic moment where they're turned away from us, and it, we're all just running around, and the fires are going up already. They're like talking about dinner for that night or whatever. Yeah, I would like. You to... see the football game? 
Yeah. I'll actually hopefully look around for something helpful, maybe like a scalpel or, you know, a machete, anything. A machete in the med lab? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead I mean, and make bone me, saws. Go ahead and make me an observation roll. Um, bone did saws. I, did I tell you guys to go ahead and add a stress roll for the stress for this event? You no. no. Okay. We kind of take that for, for granted now, though. Just like we assume the stress is going to come well, from everything here. Well, it's a factor here. of whether or not you did it. That you added it. So, I, so wait, am I still at three or four then? So I was uh, say that was were you at three before you went into the mid lab? Huh? Were you oh, at no. Three before yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So then you would be at four. Woo-hoo. Oh, how the turns have tabled. How the turns have tabled. You. <laughs> Everything is stressful. Cannot find it. Hmm. All right, that's my turn there. Okay. This thing lets out a shriek. Very high pitched. <laughs> well, I can't do that. That's terrible. <laughs> I, I wanted to do sound effects for this, but I realized I don't have the voice for it. But <laughs> we think it's great. I let out a very <laughs> shrill Sample. shriek and then a hiss, and it is on the floor now. It is, it is moving and squirming like a snake. Um, I guess back to me. I uh take the thing and I don't want to get close to it but I hand it to uh I, I mean I hand it to Hirsch because I just Hirsch is closest to, I would just first person I would look at Hirsch take this take this kill it alright and um and I'm going to, let's see, uh, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, I guess you said it was 20 movement, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that's, I was gonna, I'm gonna try to aim for the intercom, but for now, that's the, for me for now. <laughs> I can't pull rank on a chest burster. I am of no use. Don't try. Mm-hmm. I would like to make his way well. over in the midst of this. Um, well, help! <laughs> oh yeah, we had a robot here the whole time. We did have, you did have a robot. Oh man. It's not been told. Help! <laughs> he was doing what you told him to, and now he's realizing, oh fuck. This is actually an issue. Nah. Priority two, Ooh. priority one. <laughs> Please, you <laughs> shut up, quarantine him! <laughs> Alright. This is what happens when you don't wear your masks. That's what happens when you leave. <laughs> when you leave your home, yeah. You so stay leave. very socially distant from that egg, my dude. <laughs> This happens when you leave your, leave the patient to go have a cinematic moment. Yeah, how dare we? <laughs> <laughs> how dare we RP? Okay. We did this to ourselves. Singleton. Hope that Shirley Temple was worth it. This thing sneers at both of you and slash, whips around slashing its tail. Uh... I'm gonna jump back from that if I can. Alright. What is that? What's an an evasion? Mobility, right? Yeah. Yes, that would be mobility. Okay, well, Actually, might not be what it is, but <laughs> we're gonna go with that for a second while I double check. Big mother says yes. <laughs> Just because it's a it's a fail. Well, the good news for you, Morgan, is that it missed its attack anyway. 
Mm. So because of that goof, I'm not gonna make you roll a panic. Oof. Also, Hannah, what the fuck is that number of dice? <laughs> I yeah. Um, but I think I got. Hang on. So what happened there? <laughs> If that's the case, why are there so many like dice on top and then only a few are highlighted? Yeah, what's like okay, if I do that, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so it doesn't include that. I was told to okay. What well, did you do? I just clicked that without doing modifiers this time. Uh last mm. time I did modifier seven because my mobility is two and my agility yeah, is five. Don't. You just hit Yeah. You just hit the flat thing. You don't do any modifiers to it. Yeah. Well, I was wondering why your com- close combo was so high. I was like, wait a minute here. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Not like it did anything anyways. <laughs> okay, so, what are y'all yeah. doing? I believe it's Singleton's turn. Uh-oh. I mean... Let's see if I'm all like panicky. I, you know, tried to jump back to this thing because what the fuck? Luckily, uh, it missed. Yeah, and it missed. So, um, I don't know. Can, can my boot? How how good are my boots? Can I step on this whole skirt? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean. I think that would actually just effectively be damage equal to your strength. But if you want to go ahead and try to make a stop on this thing, go forth. Close combat. Yes. Yep, let's go. YOLO. Oh. Oof. Well. Ma'am. Nope. Mm. Roll me a panic. Yep. Add a stress die, please. Oh, no. Oh, uh... Okay. Oh, if I'm adding a stress die, then it's plus one more. I forgot to. Well, <laughs> it, well it, you're good you're... regardless. Yeah, <laughs> it would have already been plus your four stress, so it's five. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Hmm. Okay. But you said to add a stress die, though, right? So am I going from four to five now? Yes. Or yeah. <laughs> because a panic event happened. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I would like to take one. It's a game, man. Kill it. Try to go for it. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, make me a close combat. What you should do is you should just pick up Singleton and just drop her on it. You're about to get a really heated call. (laughs) Yeah, Mm -hmm. I'm about to get a call. What are you doing? I'm about to get another screaming call. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's like working in retail. Oh, great. I'm a- I am the manager. <laughs> <laughs> I am the manager. Okay. How'd I do? So, you hit it. And we established beforehand that this was essentially like a cauterizing tool. So it's essentially a very... Mm-hmm more powerful laser scalpel kind mm-hmm. of thing. Uh, you... Show it through its mouth? You... Or it's hissing? You know what? Why not? You can play the text that however you want to do it. Yes. And I'll turn it on with a little button on the side. How much that would not be? Like 20 D10s, right? <laughs> Or a laser through this thing, I need you to make me a mobility roll. This laser localizes into one target the effect of a level nine fireball. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, do me a favor and roll that panic. All right. And then add a stress. <sighs> All right. Let's see what a seven is, boys. Okay. 
A seven is a nervous twitch. Nervous <laughs> twitch, okay. Your stress level and the stress level of all friendly PCs in short range of you increases by one. Haha, <laughs> I'm not in short range of you. Everybody within 20 feet. So that is just short of you, Ziggs. So you are okay. But <laughs> Hannah, you, you need to add a stress I'm, die. I am now stressed level six. <laughs> yeah, we're stressed. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. somewhere Earth, up in comms. La, 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 la. As well, please. Mm. However, this thing does not take that well, and it kind of sputters that thing that you... Sh- the tool that you just shoved into its mm. maw is demolished because of Oof. the acid. That's valid. Yeah, it's Oof. demolished because of the acid, um, and it pretty much pools in the floor. So, oh, so, 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 so the tool was a. It ended up being a one-time thing. Well, now it is. Yeah. <laughs> The tool gets destroyed to- by the acid and it seeps into the floor and starts corroding its way through. There might be another one. We might it. have one more. We might yeah. have one more in stock. Maybe. Yeah. We have another item, maybe. We'll have to go look for it. I Why don't you do- go looking? I forgot to do inventory. Let me go <laughs> check. Um, I, yeah. Before I do so, I, this we're, it's dead. We're good. I call... Um, I call McWhir and I say come back now, please. I mean Okay. We did burn. Just hurry, please. I, um, do I need to, is everything okay? Now it kind of is. Um, um Hurry. I'm going to grab at least two marshals that I run into on my way down there. And also maybe a pistol that I've ducked to the bottom of my desk. <laughs> can I can I roll for that? Wait, pistol. what are you trying to get? A, a I think it's shot. well within my uh, paranoid rights to have a pistol duct taped to the bottom of my desk in comms. <laughs> Alright, let me look at this table here. This is the line, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch, okay? <laughs> right you here. Make me an observation. Okay. <laughs> you find a toy pistol. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I find a water gun with Lysol in it. Yes. <laughs> mm. Okay. So. I didn't make it this, this far is, by being safe, okay? So because this is also someplace that the marshals kind of frequent, mm-hmm. uh, you know that for safekeeping, one of them keeps a pistol stashed on top of the... Uh, on top of one of the cupboards. Yes. And Excellent. that is using your fi- the great item. Thank you. That's two used. You okay. actually have three ben you have two beneficial items left. Mm-hmm. Which are oh, okay. more minor things, things like tools. Mm-hmm. A great item is consistent of like a weapon or a plot relevant item. Mm-hmm. Okay, well then I will um in, in between the time, it, it might take a few minutes to get down yep. to us, and so in the meantime, I'll, I'll ask uh, everyone to uh, help me look through the cabinets to um, see if we still have in stock other um, pyro scalpels. <laughs> pyro scalpels. <laughs> pyro scalpels. I love that. Sure thing. Okay. Is I don't that know how you? many we'll find. Is that you wanting to use one of your find a beneficial items? Um, I don't know if that's something that I would want to. R- I was going to say. Uh, I don't know because it, it, it's like a one time use for that kind of thing. So in that situation. So 
I don't think I would. I will also so note that just to remind y'all, we this still have thing has session. seeped through the floor already. It's gone. Yeah. Because of the acid, it's on a different but it level died. now. But it died, right? I can't confirm or deny that right now. You don't know. It died off screen. That means it didn't die. <laughs> look, look through the hole. Look through the hole. <laughs> Make the robot oh. look through the hole. <laughs> I'll look. You're about to get so much to the face. So you're looking? Yeah, yeah. Make the robot look or else you're going to get it to the face. So the acid... You know the second rate, rate pages. It's going to well, make me an observation. I was not the one to look. I think the acid becomes null after like a little bit. I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> it eats your face. It jumps back up. <laughs> I hate roll twenty. It never works for me. Told you to make the robot. Not for players. It's not for players. <laughs> Please roll, roll me a panic. Roll. roll me a panic, sir. I told I you to make three, the robot uh, look. Bat dies. Yes, you did. Oh. <laughs> what is your current stress level? Four. So you were sitting at fourteen. No, it's remember. It's just ten. It automatically yeah, ends. Ten. 1d6 plus 4 stress. I always forget that. Okay. Hooray for macros. They do stuff for us. Ten. <laughs> you freeze. You're frozen by the fear of stress for one round, losing your next slow action. Your stress level and the stress level of all friendly PCs in short range of you increases by one. God damn it. <laughs> but he's... When I feel my stress roll. Does that count? <laughs> no. I don't like his face. You are considered uh, a you are considered friendly at this point. Uh okay, well. Um uh I uh, uh, Don gone diddly don. Don. I, how you are Royd, out of range again. Halroyd, please go check on it and I uh am Oh my gosh, uh I'm go I'm going to intercom into the other room and let the marshal that's standing there um, inform them that uh, <laughs> McWirt McWirt's coming um, we just had an incident please go down to the the following level and inspect the leak um, no 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 I can't I can't do that I can't I can't not after what's been happening I can't I can't um uh, it's a red shirt. Come on. I. Oh my gosh. I. W- you haven't named him yet. You're not attached. It's fine. Make <laughs> no, no, I it. no because that's not what I. I couldn't. I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would say, um, run out. Go look for McGuire. McGuire should be on our way. Hurry. Go find her. Are you um, sending the marshal to go find her? To meet don't up send, half, yeah. If, I don't mean, send away your backup, dude. <laughs> That's a him decision. You're not I there. Know. I know. You're also on your way, so you're probably halfway at this point. Yep. Mm-hmm. If okay. not closer. Halfway there, and we are all definitely looking. How Roy, how Roy, do you That's see great. the... With your amazing robotic eyes, <laughs> crystalline lenses, do you see <laughs> the thing, the creature on the bottom? see it right now it looks like the acid has corroded through the next level as well it's in the basement i, will I feel like maybe are we not uh, is the med lab not in the middle like it's no, like it is on the second floor yep oh my god it went to two levels yep what is the room below us if would i have that knowledge the room directly below you give me a moment it's the gym <laughs> if not i would know because i cling in this whole place it's the daycare. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say yeah. like it's the elementary it's, school, and then right under it is the kindergarten. It's it's the men's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> if what? only if only it did a reverse where it goes into the men's bathroom like through a pipe. Uh, what's the worst room it could be? So it I mean, is actually the daycare is in a bad scenario. It is actually some offices. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> mm-hmm. pencil pushers, whatever. 
Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares mentions. about the random NPCs who are now like freaking out about this acid that just dropped from the ceiling. <laughs> hey. They well, are. They fun. are. They are freaking out. You're getting some phone calls and comms that you're not answering right now. I left. But. <laughs> Oh shit! It's your assistant um, Jenny is taking the calls. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna say everyone. Okay. Uh, 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 grab, grab. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna open one of the cabinets and grab uh, as many scalpels as I possibly can. A handful, if any. Um, it's full. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Okay. I'm gonna say. Okay. Let's start. Start undressing. We're gonna um, start undressing. Yeah. I need to grab some scalpels. I need to grab a, a surgical kit. Um, I think it's a, it's a portable item. If I can maybe. find one, maybe it's here. It should be here. Maybe hopefully it's here. And, um, uh, and oh my gosh, how right we need Sig. to look this search. We need to all explore this little mini area lab and see what else we can find. We are allocating all of our resources at the moment. This is this is our armory here Sig you might need to take a little bit because asking us to undress while you're holding all the deadly implements is not don't worry I'm sterile (laughs) 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 that's not not the question but nice to know why are you pointing those everyone in chat is questioning me right now so am I (laughs) Um, okay, guys, strip. <laughs> you know what? Actually, you no, said because it, this provides you said it. this might provide a layer of protection. So let's actually keep it on. Um, I like keep it on please. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going manic. I'm going manic. Keep your shit on. Let's go. We're gonna oh, just I run around. Keep we're, gonna, we're gonna just run around in hazmat suits. <laughs> Alright, so you yeah, guys are. That's not gonna make a picnic. Everyone else is like. Stress level goes up three at the sight of us. All the NPCs are all freaking out. I feel like I'm gonna walk in the room and immediately just have to take five stress from looking at you all. (laughs) It's gonna be, it's gonna be, I walk in and Sunny's just doing the conspiracy board thing, except with (laughs) scalpels instead of (laughs) thumbtacks. Just like everywhere. (laughs) All right. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going through de- decontamination. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And you need some help holding those deadly implements there. Do I? Do I have my scalpels, GM? <laughs> <laughs> you, if you are searching this place top to bottom, you can find maybe another two or three. But again, they don't. <laughs> Here, <laughs> you don't I have give, a lot of supplies. <laughs> I hate this break it to you. <laughs> I give um. One to Hannah and one to her. So I'm like, you all are more handsy than I am. I will choose to. Um... Oh, wait, hang on. No, there we go. <laughs> Sarah, you did good there, finding that little laser there. Oh, uh, we'll take it from here. Fuck. All right. <laughs> oh, now, I need a little bit to decompress. And sh- uh, do, do you have any... Cheryl is in here, maybe I don't know, an apple I was looking for a a, a, a surgical like a med kit, surgical med kit uh, to take with us port, something portable just in case someone gets hurt Y'all are missing the golden opportunity of vinegar and bleach and just poison bomb it in its own, in its new room Vinegar is too expensive, it's on the other colony <laughs> I'm just really I'm, pulling I'm, out all of my chemist solutions at this point. I Is would that what you teach? Hope. Are you a chemistry teacher? No, I teach three-year-old preschool. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, please don't advanced, tell me advanced teaching, uh, calculus. But I, teaching, uh, preschoolers to like mix. I I do know a lot hurt. of ways to cause explosions and harm. Don't ask why; it's not important. <laughs> are you a writer? Thanks to you, we are now marked by the FBI. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, is this acid eating through plastic, metal, glass? It's eating through everything. everything yeah, is even glass. It's acid. <laughs> huh. Use a base, just get some strong. The only milk. thing it hasn't eaten through that you've seen has actually just been the skin of the creature. All right. You need to make armor out of that carcass, Sonny. 
I was just smart. thinking. Smart. Just How strap, big are the mandibles? Just strap the dead carcass to yourself and look even more insane. <laughs> it's big enough to wrap around your head and wear it as a helmet, essentially. Does it have anything spiny that we shit. might be able to use as a weapon? It can't be a chest like, burster if I tape its dead mom to my body. <laughs> That's where Sonny's head is going right now. <laughs> Someone the here fingers, has to be paranoid. The fingers are not pointed like claws, so you can't really. They're not sharp enough to. I mean, or anything. okay, so if you like swing it by the tail or something like that, that's the you that's can, a club. That's amazing, that's like a, fest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you guys are going through decam and you're searching this place, mm-hmm. top to bottom, right? Yeah. Okay, so Holoroid is actually going to dip his. Where are you going? I think it's best to confirm where the creature is. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I might be the most qualified to deal with it. it the last time we dealt with the bigger creature, it corroded on you. It, he holds up his hand and it's covered in... It's still kind of messed up because you can't really take the time to repair it at the moment. Mm-hmm. Like... At least it's not flesh. Mm. You're okay. already gone. Good point there. Why don't you go just take care and keep us abreast of any new things that happen over there or whatever you encounter? Now, I need. We need to release some stress, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say I need to take a sit and force force my toy down to start. <laughs> so you were saying about taking the clothes off. <laughs> do you, do you want to keep them on? No. I mean, they don't really do anything technically if they're gonna just corrode through our PPE. Yo. <laughs> Uh, you know, sometimes you're just so pure. It's why, that's why I like you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we wait for McQueer. Would you say this is a, a turn passes? Let's say a turn. This is a <sighs> we turn all, pass. And we all play guys, with our items. Play with your yeah. items and just oh, yeah. hanging out and talking with her. You guys Leave. I'll say cumulative three since you're interacting with items and mm-hmm. doing the short rest. It's the closest I have to. <laughs> so small dinosaur. Adjust story. accordingly. Um, sure. I am actually going to cut it there. Yeah. Cares McQueer is on her way. She's about to burst in this med lab and be super angry with everybody. Uh, the she marshals are starting to get into a panic because they don't know what's going on. The Holoroid just came out and told them, make sure that everyone's back in their rooms. And he's gone. He's going to figure out where this creature is. And you guys what are is- going to hang out here. Remind me to reprogram him when he gets back. (laughs) Y'all are going to sit here, shoot the shit for a little bit, uh, Mm -hmm. calm down, hunt down your scalpels. Take a sit and have a good cry. Take a sit and have a good cry. You guys are going to recuperate, and that is where we are going to call session for the night. Now, before we go, now, something for our viewers... To kind of give a little bit of a background, um, something for our that our players have to play to our individual agendas. They each have their own character motivations. Um, however, over the course of a session or a campaign, those motivations can change. Now we are at a point where we have we're starting to see some action. We're broaching into the climax, and we are starting to go whole hard. So, I'm going to go ahead and we show. I showed McQueer, or showed Nif hers earlier with McQueer because of how she played. 
Um, mm -hmm. But I'm going to go ahead and show everybody else. And like I told her before, keep it a secret. Keep it a secret. Mm. secret keep it safe. Because that is something that you guys are going to be playing out next time. Mm -hmm. It's secret. You gotta keep it. Also, I've realized while thinking about I went to go grab a gun. I'm not sure if I actually grabbed the gun because it was maybe a threat or if it was just I'm really annoyed at Sunny. <laughs> well, you did look for it. You did look yeah. for it, so that is up to you. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, hmm, what are my motivations behind this gun? Are you ready to use it on hers? <laughs> I'm probably ready to use it on literally all of you and I probably <laughs> will by the end of the <laughs> session. <laughs> I won't hesitate. I won't okay. hesitate, bitch. Now that is all shared. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and go through our closing. So, players, if you would like to sign off. Oh my god, is that agenda? Aren't the new agenda oh, so cool? All right, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going first? <laughs>